That's very naughty, said the policeman. I need it for my lumpy tits. <laughs> Get out of bed, lumpy tits. We're going to go pick a grave. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want to make your beard less smelly and gross? <laughs> Head on over to RuneSilk. They are a UK-based independent business that's been established since 2018, and they specialise in all different types of beard care and beard products. Yeah. In fact, the owner, a guy called Dan, he yeah. actually took third place at the 2022 British Beard and Mustache Championship. Yeah. So he's a real expert. Yeah, so I'm finding out right now that that is a competition that exists, but well done to him. Yeah. <laughs> they also have like beard oils, balms, aftershaves. I've got they're... the Dark Knight Bedtime Beard Butter here. It's That's lovely. That's the flagship product. Like you put it on before bedtime. Smells delicious. And the whole thing with this is that it's specially made like shampoos and conditioners and oils and all sorts. And it gets rid of all the fluff, all the bad stuff in your beard. Let's face it, it, your facial hair is gross sort it out and this is the best way to do there's it there's nothing Room worse silk. there's nothing worse than a bad beard is there and there's a lot I mean? look we've seen you at our shows there's a lot out there a dreadful facial hair that needs sorting out this is the way to do it so if you want all this stuff maybe like the sunglasses as well they make they make clothes they've got aftershaves loads of stuff head over to runesilk.com and throw in the code DMT15 for a cheeky 15% off looking for clothes no I'm not because I am wearing Fradame wow so am I now Look how fucking cool I look. Fradame are a high-end British streetwear label that specialise in quality clothing for all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, that's why they've chosen us, so they could prove that they can clothe the fat and the lanky. I really like what they've done here. I, yeah. I, I love the hoodie, I love the pants, it's really comfortable, and it's it's washed dead well as well. Everything is properly good quality. Like Everything's really like nice heavyweight fabrics, that dead soft as well, all the collars and cuffs, all the detailing's really nice. I've not like I've honestly not stopped wearing them since they sent me a load of stuff. And one of the uh, designs that they sent us has actually been featured in GQ magazine. Fuck yeah. So if you want to check them out, if you want to have a look what they're all about, head over to their website, fradame.co.uk. That's F R A D I M E.co.uk. Or check them out on Instagram at fradame.uk. And they are co signed by me, the most stylish member of this podcast. Warning the following podcast contains extreme language and themes and is not suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland. Him, a big, fat, smelly cunt. And also, we've got a little not gay Tom in the corner. Hello. And we've got a very special guest today. One of our favourites from over in the Northern Irish scene. We have got Willie Thompson. Hello. How you doing, mate? You good? Oh, good, man. Cheers for having yeah. me. Appreciate how, it. How are you finding it over here? Oh, I fucking love it over here. Yeah. I, I'm literally, like, in Liverpool or North at least once a month. Liverpool's now. not really leaving Belfast, though, is it? No. <laughs> no. You know, you've moved <laughs> Belfast over. Overseas, yeah. Is what you've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Liverpool and Sydney are the two places I've been where I'm like, oh, this is just Belfast yeah. all over again. Sydney, Sydney, yeah. There's like sun there though, isn't there? Oh, it's fantastic. It's I didn't know. Brilliant. I didn't know Sydney was divided by sectarian violence. Oh yeah, the Aboriginals really yeah. take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, they do. Yeah, they do take that quite. Yeah, seriously. but there's like eleven of them, so no one cares. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they really do that. They have to do like land acknowledgements before shows where they're like, hey, look, right, we stole this old land. Um, I think they should take that back yeah. to Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be a little controversial. I um, oh, we're not fussed about it. We don't we don't bring it up. Ever. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, we no, never no. mention well, it. Remarkably I, chill. Yeah, yeah. I am uh, secretly very looking forward to doing my uh, Belfast tour date yeah. uh, of my new tour, especially considering uh, how passionate I am about Northern Irish history. Yeah, you've essentially turned uh, your show into like an Orange Man march now, basically. I Chocolate don't... Orange Man march. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wouldn't know who that supports. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Protestants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you mentioned that to me yesterday that you had like no idea. None at all. History. And I thought it was the typical English thing where they're like, oh, we don't know that much. No, you know fucking not. It's History. crazy. History. Like, we had Paddy McDonald on here and it was just like, Paddy was just like wide-eyed at the <laughs> level of ignorance History. coming out of his face. History is not my strong point. It, I, I don't like it. It's boring. 
It's already happened. It's because it, it, it involves like empathy for other people. Yeah. He doesn't really understand why it's bad. Well, I said this on the Paddy podcast, but I genuinely, I'd <laughs> never been to Belfast before. Right. And when I went, I thought that there was a wall down the centre of the city, a, a, an entire wall, and it just, your whole lives were gone. He thought it was like wall. East Germany still. It, yeah, no, And it was like that bit in the 90s. Yeah, though the Peace Wall is just like <laughs> it guards off an estate, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, what it's not it like takes... you can't get through the fucking city. It's no, not, no, yeah. no. People There's are not like, a checkpoint not, in the town in, centre. I used to buy drugs off a guy who lived in that estate. But he would like I wouldn't get out of work till like after ten. Yeah. So he used to sell me drugs through that wall. <laughs> so it's not in panic. <laughs> like a cash machine for drugs. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a cocaine glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not impenetrable. Just a little fiver pokes through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a vending machine. <laughs> a Coke Clay Glory will be so funny with your little nose just going through it. To be honest, to be honest I think most glory Imagine holes. Imagine if you got the wrong one, so it's sucking on your nose. <laughs> you just put your nose down and, ah, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, I think most uh, glory holes are cocaine glory holes. I don't think many people are using glory holes without some sort of substance involved. No, I think... How insane would you have to be to use a glory hole sober. I, I think people are doing it for the love of the game. Yeah, well, I'm sure, but the first time at least. Yeah, there's, I think there's glory hole connoisseurs. Sure, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think you do have to have a lot of confidence to use a glory hole the mm. first time, definitely. Yeah. Well, really? Well, I think it's... Uh, I, I, I disagree. I think it's a a, a, a practice set up for the, for the unconfidence. <laughs> because, because you don't even have to look at them. Yeah. You, you, you're so far removed... You don't have to think about anything other than... Yeah, but the confidence it. of if I put my dick in this, someone's going to suck it. You've got, to, you've got to be confident to think that because there's a chance it could go wrong. That someone's going to punch it or bite it. <laughs> or... <laughs> punch your cock! It's not like a fucking whack-a-mole. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. At a gay club, if they had like nine glory holes, <laughs> they'd pop through and you've got to be like... <laughs> Someone's gonna uh, punch, punch it. it. Like, no, no. <laughs> to be fair, get though, that back in there. That's to, such a Tom worry. Because what if you put it in and it turns out it's not a glory hole? Or it is, and the person on the other end is just trying to have a shit. How do yeah. you? How do you like? How do you convey who's doing what? Because I th think once your knob's through, <laughs> I think that tells you. But what if your knob hits his knob coming right, through the like, other side? Like an ET finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strongest knob wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have a knob war. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I now, declare a knob war. I would like watch that. Like a Chinese that. finger trap. Yeah. I would. What about that, Glorioles? But it's a knob war, yeah. and the loser has to suck the winner's dick. Yeah, you, you would watch that, wouldn't you, Freddie? You'd Take love to watch I that. I know, I've lost again. <laughs> Take that to ITV. I, I wonder if there's like a side you go on for sucking, and a side like maybe there's like an etiquette. Like if you're in the left-hand cubicle, you're putting your knob through. Yeah. I don't know, to be honest with you, mate. Freddie, you're the expert in gay stuff. Because he's gay. Um, it's, uh, it's, 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 he can't use them though because obviously his belly stops his dick getting to the wall. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's left hand, uh, uh, left hand cubicle you put your dick through yeah. unless you're in Europe or America. Then. Right, then it's the other yeah, way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's why a lot of Americans are confused when they come over here. Sure. Yeah, They're yeah, both yeah. waiting for a dick to suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kissing. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you uh, Would you ever use a glory hole? No. I wouldn't either. No. I, like, I think first, I think it's mainly a gay fella's game. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly. Because there's not a lot of women waiting on the other side. Like, if you can you can close your eyes and pretend all you want, that's a yeah, fella there's no dick. There's no fit woman who's walking around just thinking... Do you know what I fancy today? Mm. A belly full of strangers come. Yeah, just random dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever dick comes through the wall. But you don't know she's not fit. So in your mind, she could be. Yeah, so that's that's how it works. Ugly yeah. people go on the other side of it, and you're like, oh, they could be fit. Yeah. But they're not. No, they're, no, no never, one. Never, literally never. No fit people are getting wall cock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like if you're in like well, those old phone sex lines, they, it's yeah. the same thing. You know, it's like you couldn't see them, so you could pretend. Obviously, Babe Station blew that game off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, like, you know, you're always talking to an old, haggard woman. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, the know. people that use glory holes are like poverty ridden fucking perverts. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you not think rich people use glory holes? No way. Rich people can afford. They're doing sex clubs. It's different. Like we went to a sex club. Uh, not not for the shagging. We There's... went to interview. The... Why did you go? We're just for the content, mate. 
It's weirder you didn't go for and, uh, the shower. We went and interviewed the uh, owners and that. We had a day, good day. Uh, yeah. It was really nice. But yeah, they had glory holes in there. But that's different if you're at a sex party. Because also, they weren't like that well. You know, you could look round. Yeah, you yeah, know, they yeah. weren't. It's an unnecessary glory hole, really. Yeah, because you're all there to I'm, suck each other off I'm anyway. I'm saying it now. No millionaire uses a glory hole. Oh, no, disagree. Because you can just get no, whichever no. woman you want to suck your dick. Yeah, but like that's part of the I mean, they don't thrill. like spending money, the rich. <laughs> that's how they get rich. They're yeah. very frugal. Yeah. But they're I, not blowing their money on getting their dick sucked. They're I'm, going to public toilets. I definitely yeah. think there are like, there's like wayward millionaires who were like, you know, coked up to shit and they're just like the dirty grottiness of it. The fact that it's, you know, fucking disgusting will be part Two of it. Two words, John McAfee. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be his. You know the guy game. from the security software, McAfee. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, he, he was. He's now dead, but he was like a lunatic who lived in the jungle, shitting on women. Uh, like that was his thing. He was into like he had a hammock that he cut a hole. Do you in. not know this? There's a documentary about him that's amazing. Right, no, you know nothing about history. You can't get annoyed at me because I don't know that John McAfee lived in the jungle. Shitting yeah, do you not know women? about Norton Security? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he used to yeah. rape chips. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> John McAfee's interesting, though. Yeah, John like, McAfee is interesting. He, he used to sit in a hammock that had a hole cut in it, and he'd get, like, local women that he'd pay to lie underneath it, and he'd just shit in their mouths. And he'd never shag them. He'd just shit in their mouths and wank. Do you know who else used to do that? Hitler. Jerry Adams. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say Vince McMahon. Was like, he, <laughs> he, he did, did do he that? He did do that, yeah, yeah, Is yeah. that coming out now? Yeah, I think there's loads of stuff with Vince McMahon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's out there, like. Yeah, yeah out- well, how much do you want a career? Yeah, it was very. That was very much the deal for yeah, a long yeah, exactly. time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, you'll get hit with a chair, but you won't suck my dick. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'd rather get hit with a chair than suck someone's dick. Now that's a really easy yeah, choice. Yeah, you're a man. Yeah. All right. What, what would you rather do? Yeah. Um. Uh, get thrown off a, a big cage yeah. onto some tables. Hell in a cell. By or, God, he's broken in half. Or full on mankind. Lick Mrs. McMahon's pussy. <laughs> Which one? Stephanie's like, I'd enjoy. No, yeah, no, no, the right. wife. Linda? Linda. Oh, Linda McMahon. You know what? Like, I'm going for some gilf puss. <laughs> it's very, there you go. It's a different proposition, though. It's a different proposition because I am disgusting. So that is very different. And I'm sure there are plenty of disgusting women who just sucked his dick and were fine with it. I would go uh, as far as to say every female wrestling fan is disgusting. <laughs> Fans, <laughs> yes. That's different. You get the odd one who's not, and you're looking at her like, why? You're not safe here. Are you a you're wrestling right. fan? Huge. Huge. Huge wrestling yeah. fan. Really? To the point that I know too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's too nerdy. I won't even on podcasts admit how much I know. <laughs> really? I, it's fucking abysmal. I might be the most knowledgeable person about wrestling who doesn't like wrestling. Like, I never watch it because I find it boring as fuck. But I read articles about it constantly and, like, watch documentaries and stuff. I find the world so interesting. That's the interesting But the chip. product is boring as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah. The key is get so drunk you forget it's not real. Right, yeah. I don't drink anymore. So that's be a problem. Oh, I, yeah. I, I did watch, I did watch, to be fair, the other night. I was sat stoned. I watched The Rock do a 21 minute long promo to his camera phone. It's like, the Rock's back, and I was like, the, yeah. "Sorry, The Rock is back. He's back in wrestling." Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, uh, right. Okay. Now, yeah. the last time I sort of briefly checked in with wrestling, yeah. and I mean, as in, saw an advert or something. J- fucking Logan Paul was a wrestler. He now. is now. Yeah, he's a very successful. He's wrestler. annoyingly good yeah. at it too. It's is like he? him and Jay Paul are just really athletic lads. They're both just naturally good at sport. They're you know, good at like... that, but he also is, I think, just a natural dickhead. Exactly. That he's his perfect. character like, is. He's he, annoying dickhead. He's really annoying. Everyone strongly dis. He, he, you know, like you'd be a great wrestling heel. Like people just naturally hate you. Yeah, yeah. You'd be yeah. a good manager. He'd be unreal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, if you got like, you know, if he if he went and like, I've always said like, if Freddie started like lifting weights, he'd be, look like a fucking circus strongman. He's got that sort of like body <laughs> shape. He could definitely do that sort of Bron Brecker sort of like style <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. He could be that like, you know, the big fucking, like, I'm going to do a big, sl- like, you know, get someone on his shoulders and do a big slam. Yeah. He's a white Mark Henry is what hey. he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's sexual white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the milky bar touches kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see that though. Yeah, you know I what? That, that is that is honestly the nicest thing that he's ever said of to me as a human being in maybe nearly two years of doing this podcast yeah. the nice thing you've ever said to me is that if I really worked hard and went down the gym yeah. and lifted weights eventually I might get to do a gig in a community centre <laughs> like, I believe in you mate yeah, yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have potential to be stronger. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. Are you strong? You do give me the vibe you would be quite strong. Yeah, you'd think that, but no, pathetically weak for such a fat man. <laughs> really? No power behind it? Um, depends at what. What buffets are we talking? Like, incredibly no, like, powerful. Like, if you're talking about, like, I'm quite good at pushing. He's quite good at holding down people who are struggling. <laughs> 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 What do you mean? What do you mean pushing? Mm. Like you know, like pushing things. Mm. Like if you need a car pushing, I'm really good at that. It's got very strong, uh, strong force of personality. You know, yeah. Won't take no for an answer. Yeah. It's yeah. What... <laughs> very strong smell of. <laughs> it's yeah. a powerful odor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I imagine you are quite good at pushing cars because you know if they're if they're angled slightly downhill, you can just sort of lean on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fly. <laughs> Because you're very fat, is what I'm saying. Because <laughs> <Freddie. laughs> you're because you're fat. I'd say that you're looking very well from the last I saw you, though. It's unreal. Thank you. Really trimmed down. Though. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's because you got an insane disease and nearly died. Yeah, where'd you get that? In a fucking. Uh, I'm not sure. Is yeah. the answer. I'm, I'm. I'm not. It could have been one any number of gay saunas in the country. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's also gay. <laughs> He's fat and gay. That's the thing. I am not gay. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> you said that in the gayest way. Never... I am not gay. <laughs> you could How have... dare you? You could have three cocks but... in your mouth. Not as gay as the way you know <laughs> I, am... I am not gay, but William, you are disabled, so can we talk about that, please? Yeah. 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 <laughs> can, we, can we just shift it onto him? Why? Yeah. He's got a weird foot. <laughs> Like, can we just, you know... You need to do a bit more with it than this uh, to try and get it on. William, you... you uh, it's, it's, yeah, you can't I'm, see that in his shoes. I can see that you're fat and gay with me eyes. I don't even have weird feet. They're just... I've just wee pretzel limbs. <laughs> <laughs> now, that does sound delicious, to be fair. <laughs> don't say that to him. Jesus Christ. Pretzel limbs, is it? <laughs> Let's get those buttered. <laughs> Or someone like their knee nibbled. <laughs> I, I didn't the know this. I learned this about you for the first time yesterday. Uh, you played football for uh, Paralympics Northern Ireland. Yeah, Northern Ireland, uh, Cerebral Palsy football team, which played in loads of Paralympic uh, football events. Fuck yeah. Nice Isn't one, good? man. Yeah, yeah, it is good, yeah. Josh Pugh plays for England's blind team as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, I've met Josh a couple of times. We've, good we've talked about it. Like, yeah, yeah, he's fucking hilarious, Josh. Yeah, you know when you, Lord. like... Um, have the cerebral palsy football team yeah do you have to have one that's like you know <laughs> that like, i know like, that like, sounds offensive you do yeah yeah, yeah yeah like what sounded offensive was the <laughs> not the, <laughs> yeah. not the question yeah. necessarily the guy's so disabled the doctor goes fuck yeah 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 but you have to have like different degrees essentially within yeah. the team so there has to be levels so there has there's do you get a certain amount of points to spend <laughs> it's like <laughs> You know, if, if if you can like walk without shaking too badly, you're like ten points. But you know, if they're in a wheelchair, they're one. You're it's financial like, fair palsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you have it operates on four levels. There's five, six, seven, eight. Um, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> my, <laughs> my boot scooting baby is driving I, me all shaky. Ironic that it's made by step. <laughs> <laughs> my Romeo, Romeo, I'm covered in dribble from head to toe. <laughs> Oh, you evil fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a shame That's you bad. lived. Uh, <laughs> I think that every day. So how do they decide? How do they decide which is the most? So before every tournament, you go, like it's a, a long two-day process where they will take every individual player in the training room, get their limbs, like stretch them out, rule, get like a ruler, a measure, see how much their limbs stretch out. They make them do some exercises. You get properly audited mm. by like a team of three medical professionals. This sounds little. This sounds like getting nonced. It sounds like, <laughs> it's like yeah. Now do it in your pants. <laughs> yeah, 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 what yeah. an elaborate ploy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Larry Nasser. Of... Yeah. Oh shit! See how far into your so throat you, go, you can well, take that. So, so I remember speaking to there's a um, a Paralympic athlete that I know that was talking about how. There is a certain controversy within Paralympics whereby some Paralympians will um, try and get themselves 
ranked as a bit more disabled. Yeah. Well, like everyone does, because to... obviously it's a huge advantage if you could be in a different category. But yeah. then there's like some people who get reclassified who it's like kind of wildly unfair. They go from being like amazing, like, you know, top of their sport. Some, someone will just go, nah, actually, we're reclassifying you. And like, yeah. I, I watched the documentary about uh, there was a wheelchair sprinter and he got moved <laughs> uh, into uh, a category like where they had like use of their core muscles and he didn't. So like, obviously they're just fucking like, he used to be like, you know, British record holder in his category. But moved into that and was just getting smoked every race and there was nothing he could do. Yeah, because you, you must lose your sponsorship. Yeah, and... yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he was yeah. just fucked. It used to be you were allowed to have, any, as long as you just had some form of cerebral palsy or mm. head injury, you were allowed to play. Yeah. Then the rules came in. It's like, you have to have a five or six on the, pi yeah. on the pitch at all times and you're only allowed one eight. Right. And now the, What's like, what? So like Freddie's dating is, history. So, so an eight is like an absolute... <laughs> eight would be better mobility than I have. So right. you think I don't have it? Yeah. Oh, wow. These motherfuckers are jacked. They, yeah. are, they are just good athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be so fun being that guy on the team. Yeah. Just absolutely <laughs> skinning heavily disabled people. <laughs> just like, just fucking Ronaldinho in it, doing little tricks around him. Just I would, I Megs would, in him. <laughs> secretly, I don't know if we can ever make this happen, but I would love to do a slide tackle on a heavily disabled cerebral palsy <laughs> football player. I'd love to just go in, fucking Roy Keane, Alfinger Hall and them. What would be really funny, though, is you turn up... That's the most mental thing anyone's ever said on a camera. What? Willingly. I'd love to. Not even close to the worst thing he said. But I'd I'd also love to do it to an able-bodied person. So I'm treating you all equally. Fair enough. Like, if you turned up at that, like, training camp where they test you out, though, they'd be like, look, I know he's not got cerebral palsy, but he's a five. He just is. He is. He's got the mobility of a five. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, the worst get... thing is, I get nowhere near him. Yeah. I get nowhere You'd get picked last, him. and then you get put in goal. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I bet the goal celebrations are fun. That's why I can't stop thinking. A lot of the Daniel Sturridge dance, I bet. <laughs> I <don't... gasps> Imagine him coming out for crosses. <laughs> You have to throw your whole body at it <laughs> because we can't. Like a salmon we, leaping up we can't, we can't. St I can't stick the landing. Right. So I'm just going up and You're hoping for the best. It. Yeah. Yeah. Were you were you a goalkeeper? No, I was a centre back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the goal celebrations, because I used to play in also a team that was just any disability. Right. And there was a guy with one one leg and a prosthetic leg. Yeah. Yeah. Best goal celebrations every time. I bet. If he scored, he would take it off and use it like a machine gun. <laughs> That's so <laughs> sick. But the That's game then has to great. wait four minutes while, while he straps the leg back up. <laughs> But that was so fun, though, just random disability teams. What a fucking ragtag bunch to oh, get together. Absolute misfits. Yeah. It's brilliant. That's fucking class. Because, like, there was a, I remember playing against one guy who had really, I don't know what kind, but I think it was a form of autism. And any time he had the that's ball. Really, it's really funny that that's, that counts as well. I think that's what he had. Yeah. You weren't allowed to be like, so sure. what, what have you? It's, it's like, like prison. You can't yeah, be like, what, what are you in for? for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> but he had something that anytime you took the ball off him, he would yeah. just throw a tantrum. <laughs> They're like, I was going to hit that! <laughs> and he would go fucking mad. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and sometimes the referee would blow the whistle and be like, let him hit it for fuck's sake because I have to listen to him. That's like, so funny. Just let him. Love to turn up like, yeah, I've actually got ADHD, so... Uh... <laughs> I'll go up centre forward. It's all right, lads. I remember Get your pitches over there, mate. <laughs> I remember playing. Uh, I used to play seven aside, right? And he uh, counted as three of them. My team. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had those big wide nets. So my my <laughs> team was just a, a bunch of my mates, yeah. right? And one time we played another team, and there was that a bunch of people. But there was one person on the team <laughs> who we went to school with yeah. called Martin, who we knew was fucking shit, right. right? And so I was, I was goalkeeper, and so for the you shock me for the whole fucking thing, <laughs> I was like, look, I was like, don't bother with Martin. I was like, like don't, but just ignore him, yeah. like to his face. <laughs> I was like, just ignore him because you know push up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was getting this all game. Martin was useless at football. So, you know, for the whole match, for 18 minutes, he'd done nothing. And then with the scores tied at two all, the ball fell to Martin. He had an open goal. He had a chance to prove everyone wrong. Yeah. And he somehow managed to take a swipe at the ball, hit his own standing foot, and then fall over the top of the ball. Right? 
So we were howling laughing, like crying yeah. laughing at the poetic justice of it. Yeah. And then afterwards, the referee came up to us and said, I think it was really disrespectful what you did there, laughing at that disabled boy playing football. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't disabled. That's so funny. They just thought he was. That's fucking hilarious. And we were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've um I've I've seen something on Twitter that I want to show you. Uh, yeah. It's an older video, so apologise if you've seen it before. Right. But this was the first time that I'd seen it, and I was fucking howling. Okay, it's called Jade, and it is about a man who keeps making things more awkward. Okay. I really sympathise with him. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Steve Bunce. Uh, like there's there's there's. I I think I remember this one, but like there's more Buncey stuff. It's, like he is a guy who just he's a well meaning, nice bloke who just puts his foot so far down his throat I, all the time. I, I didn't I'd never heard of him before. He's a boxing pundit. Watch it right. till the very end. Every time you think it's gonna get worse, it can't get worse. It get worse it gets worse. Okay. We're fighting sports, and we, we might as well take the ages to remind everyone we're getting closer. We've been yes, nominated we are. for a big award this Come year. Come on, son. Where's the graphic? Where's that graphic when I need it? There we go. Who's the, who's the odd man out? Is it me or the true Paris Hilton? Or that woman at the top? Looks like a wig stuck on Jade Goody's head. There was it at the end when she was you having the You can't make any jokes about it. No, it's not a joke. I'm just saying, I wonder if that was a wig stuck on at the end. I don't like it. That doesn't suit her. And then the woman oh! next to me on my, on my right, the screen's left. I don't even know that who is she is. Miranda Cosgrove. She is iCarly of Nickelodeon fame. Well, she may be iCarly. Anyway, the four of us are up for an award, Broadcast News Award, on June 18th. At the um, at the the Hilton Hotel in Central London, tickets are two hundred and seventy-five quid. Are you buy mine? No, I'm not buying yours. <laughs> so we're going along to that, and and the the Jade show actually, which was the last uh, few weeks of her life. I've got to be honest with you, and, and I'm not joking. I'm not saying it was on Living a Channel. <laughs> I didn't even know existed. This is bad. This is real bad. I can't stop Tom, watching. Tom you used to work in TV. Can you imagine what it was like in the galley when this is going on? I think pe I think you know uh, in the 1920s the New York crash where people were just throwing themselves out of windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the pl a plane has just hit the first tower and you're in the second yeah. one and you're round up which window to leave you out of. Yeah. I also, uh, I'm not making this up. It was on living. <laughs> I also it, love him going. It doesn't. Imagine someone going. That cancer. You going off cancer? I don't suit you. Yeah. <laughs> I think you looked a lot better without cancer. See, before you did chemo, you looked better. <laughs> I'm not cut on the edge. You're looking well, Rob. <laughs> you're, you're, you're too thin. Okay. I, I liked it you gets, with tits. It gets worse, by the way. Oh, wow. I liked you with tits. Quite good, I've got to be honest with you. It was, because it was suddenly, there was no hype. It was just this woman slowly dying in front of the cameras, which I found quite entertaining. And it was, it was very good because she was dead. And it was honest. It was truthful. As for that Paris Hilton thing, I swear, Andy, if we lose out, you know, I tell you what, if Jade loses out to Paris Hilton and we lose out to Paris Hilton, I'll be sick as a parrot. And I, Carly, can come again, man. Jade can't. You know what I'm saying? I've completely lost any track of what you're saying. Yeah, I have as well. I, I... <laughs> Is that not <laughs> fucking wonderful? Oh, God, Bunsy. Yeah. Oh, God. He doesn't do much TV now, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Carly can come again. Um, Jade can't. If you, if you just uh, Google, Tom, Steve Bunt's Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. My, oh. my favourite line there was, it was a woman just dying, Steve which Black, I found entertaining. Uh, like, see what yeah, yeah, yeah. Black yeah, lives yeah. better. That would be that. Be that. Wait but, a like, minute. I found it entertaining. Yeah. That bit's mental. Can we, can we get him on? Can oh, we, maybe, yeah. Can we get him on the pod? Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get Bunsy on. He's a proper character. Oh, and we could just God. go through all the stupid things he said. I was howling at that. It was oh unreal, innit? Uh, this is, right, this one was fucking amazing. Can we get the video of this? It's him with David Hay, uh, boxer, you know, former heavyweight champion. Uh, oh, like, if you go on the Twitter one, oh, there'll oh, be the video. There we go. The, I think I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's It's... It, look, you know, you're not going to be shocked after the last clip we've watched, He's but so Bunsy's got some form. <laughs> are all set very shortly now for our top of the bill. Here I think it's Bunsy in this, isn't it? Sports studio. It is for the famous and historic British middleweight title. And before we get to talk about our main fight here, David, I think it is perhaps appropriate tonight that we just pause to mark Black History Month, most of all. And we, we discussed it today, uh, and we thought it was actually right that we acknowledge that properly, and there's nobody better placed on our team to do that 
than Steve Bunt. So over to you for a moment, Steve. <laughs> See, that one isn't even his fault. It's not his, it's not fault. his fault at all. But he sat next to David Hay, this so presenter, funny. going, there's no one better place to talk about black history than this white guy. That's so fucking, fucking great, funny. isn't it? What yeah, does he say about it? I don't think, I think he just like, you know, he, uh, it was just the handover was the problem. I think he right. genuinely did something like sensitive. To be fair, I remembered it as he was the host. I like, you know, apologies yeah. to Bunce for that. <laughs> you know, like he got put in a shitty situation there. The Jay Goody one is all on him. The, oh yeah, that's a hum. The, the presenter in that one is literally going, stop talking. Yeah, it's amazing when even the presenter goes, I've lost track of what you're saying. Like yeah. normally a TV presenter, they're just like, whatever, they're like the yes and. Yeah, and just yeah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the presenter to be like, mate, you're chatting absolute waffle. Yeah, <laughs> like, have you ever seen the, the David Hay interview where he's trying to be, you know, all flashy with what he's saying and he just goes, this fight's going to be as one-sided as a gang rape. Yeah. <laughs> and, <it's>... yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, not printing that, David. Yeah. Not, not putting that in the paper. Yeah, I mean, like, it is one-sided, a gang rape. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> it's a great simile. Yeah. But it's I'm going to treat you like you're trying to drive home on an Indian bus. <laughs> well, it's funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> oh, no, what's Bunce done now? Uh, no, I was, no, it's not Bunce. <laughs> this is just something that I saw. Yeah. I didn't even think it was really right for the podcast, but it's wild. Um, so you, you think it's not right for the podcast, but we're going to have a look. So, so this is a couple who are... So they're not English, so there's no point read uh, listening to the video. But they're traveling all over the world. They're traveling all over everywhere. Uh -huh. um, uh, uh, they decided to go to India as their last destination. Uh -huh. And um, this is a video that they uploaded because a load of men sat on him, uh, beat the fuck out of him and gang raped her. <laughs> what, a, what a hilarious story. Thanks well, I thought story. it was more Patreon. <laughs> did you think would happen? You've brought two news stories this That's week. That's all you've got. A woman getting gang raped. That's not fun. It's been a slow news week. <laughs> it's been a slow news week. That's not Bring up excuse. the fucking Glasgow Willy Wonka. Don't bring that yeah, up. Yeah, we, we, we did We've that. Already We've already done that. We've done Glasgow Willy Wonka. Oh, okay. Well, now we're only left with thing? incredibly sad stories. Yeah, I thought we could do like a fundraiser for her or something. Us. No. Yeah, you didn't think that at all, did you? No. You thought we'd watch that video and laugh at her for getting gang raped, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what exactly, Freddie. No, why not. did why did you send it to us? What did you think would happen? Awareness. Awareness. <laughs> awareness. Any, any chance you could blur my face? And my <laughs> I awareness. wanted to raise awareness. I wanted to raise awareness of what? Traveling to India. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're from the Indian Tourist Board, are you? Yeah. No. I just wanted to help. Yeah. To. Raise awareness that when you are traveling, mm -hmm. you should take out insurance. <laughs> In what way would insurance have helped? <laughs> well, cause Hold cause on. Got robbed as well. Hold on, I'm going to call AXA. You can... <laughs> <laughs> Good job I've got this gang rape insurance. <laughs> Tell you what, your, new, your no claims is going to be through the roof after <laughs> this. It's a good thing you have breakdown cover. You're going to be having a few of them in the next few months. <laughs> the RAC come to pick you up from your shower. We're just rocking. <laughs> we, have, we have got it down as a no-fault gang, right? <laughs> do, you, do, do, you have a, do you have a gash cab? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the other party has admitted liability. You've nothing to worry now. Oh, no, hang about a minute. The other party say that you backed into them. <laughs> <sighs> if anything's going to cause whiplash, I think getting gang raped is up there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no in 10 years' time when I do TV. This is the clip that's going to oh, fuck this oh, is the, yeah, yeah, This yeah. is the one that gets you fired. This, yep, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. going to This is what, like, like, we just preemptively ruined any chance at a TV <laughs> career. If we were just like, well, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's just start a rape joke podcast. <laughs> so I've sent something that is slightly more palatable. Like, this is just a fun, silly one. Okay. Right? You're like, you know, it's actually a bit humorous rather than being. Uh, I'm terrified to see what you guys find fun and silly. No, nah, this is a fun, silly one. So this is uh, this is something you might need to look into, Freddie, because obviously you've got a lot of excess skin now because you've lost a lot of weight. I don't have any excess skin. You, you're an incredibly baggy, droopy belly. I'm not. I've got no ass. That's the problem. Like, his uh, belly looks like Huckleberry Hound at the moment. <laughs> <Just got that. laughs> 
Do you actually have just like a wee baggy belly? Real no. baggy belly, yeah. It's like yeah, when yeah. your eyes... When it looks you're like a Saint sleep. Bernard. It looks like I should have a, bar- a <laughs> barrel of fucking brandy attached to the bottom of his belly. <laughs> It used to have. That's what got him in this mess. <laughs> so this is this is this lad's uh, like uh, shortcut to getting a ripped bod. All right. You want to turn the volume on, so doesn't that doesn't matter? It's just some music. Actually. Oh turn no, it get off. it off, get it off. Yeah, get it off. It's terrible. The, doesn't that lad look a little bit like if me and you were one person? It looks like if someone tried to if a, if a woman tried to transgender themselves into you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this guy wants a six pack and yeah. he's basically getting it oh, tattooed on. No. Yeah. Yes. No. And like he's not just getting the lines drawn on, he's getting a photorealistic abs. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he was grilled. Yeah. It's so red. It just looks sunburned as fuck. I want to see. I want to see it healed though, as well. I don't know how fresh that is. Oh mate, the, it, the, it, it's the fact that you can see like the lines of where the tattoo went. You need to get a stopped. full body tattoo. Yeah, really. you need to have the hot. Well, just it would be so much easier. Just go to the fucking gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, eat broccoli, you fucking mess. <laughs> exactly. Like for the money the that on. that cost, yeah. he could have just got a personal trainer. Yeah. And just fucking dedicated. That, that's, that's a really good tattoo artist who's done that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it's a terrible tattoo, but it's very well executed. Like, yeah. the, you know, it's really like I good photo realism. And also as well. It would have taken hours. It would have hurt for somebody a fuck so, across for, there. It would have hurt loads more than going to the gym. Yeah, for it's somebody, one of the worst places. Well, for somebody who's got a photo with realistic tattoo as well, yeah. they hurt way worse than normal tattoos. Because they're going over and over and over to do the shading, so you're hitting the same spot constantly. Yeah, and like, way on the worse. most painful bit of your body is like here. Those are the worst bits to get tattooed. Started. Fucking insane. It's kind of fucking great, though, isn't it? It's, it's funny. Like, that's a funny thing to do. It's pretty legendary. Do you think that but he the... thinks that people are going to fall for it? No, I think he thinks it's funny. If you look at that dude, he looks like a scumbag. He looks like one yeah. of our fans. Yeah. <laughs> like, that guy's got a Patreon to this podcast. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I think he's done it as a laugh. And it is very funny for that. But, like, it's really, like, at some point, every time you fuck someone, at some point, you've got to be like, look, right, do you like funny be- <laughs> Do you like funny tats? Because I've got a great one. I have, get, I have to do that. Um, you have to do that. Yeah, anytime if I'm taking my clothes off, because yeah. I have a tattoo that Paddy gave me. Oh, yeah. Watch which one. Because you put a disabil- disabled sign on his leg, didn't you? <laughs> what, did what did he, he put, he put on, on yours? yours? He gave me a potato in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. That's funny. That's at least that's actually quite well done. It is. And at least it's on the back of your leg and it's fun. Like, that's not too bad. It's not yeah. as bad as being on the front. Like, the, 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 you know, the biggest placing ever I've made is putting a cartoon rubber chicken on the front of my arm so it makes eye contact if I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> I'm going to use this guy's idea yeah. of the abs. Yeah. I'm going to get a tattoo on my dick, yeah. but bigger. I have a bigger dick. Yeah, bigger yeah, dick. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a really big and dick. people think I've got a big dick. That's smart. It reminds time. me of the guy, he did Celebrity Big Brother about 20 years ago. Mm. He had like a mullet, beat, but he had a six-pack implanted yeah, in Yeah, the remember? Australian guy. He had it implanted oh, in. It but was he was a fool. Yeah. 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 I think he owned shares in the company that, Right. Did it? You could have like ab implants. We've seen, it, we've, we've seen it on here before. I'm sure we talked about a guy who like did guy arm implants. Like, they always look so bad. Did, yeah. yeah, just fucking. I, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I think any form of cosmetic surgery like that. Yeah, is a go. Bit yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, bizarre. he's the journalist guy. Yeah, I remember him. Here yeah, he yeah. is. Look look looks terrible. That, that looks so bad. What he looks like? He looks. He like, looks like a turtle. It looks. It does. It looks like when modern bodybuilders use too much human ho- uh, like growth <laughs> hormone and insulin, they get those big fat bellies with abs. It's weird. Who's that fucking Doctor Who villain looking cunt on the second row? Is that uh, Pete? Sorry, oh no. Oh. Rodrigo oh, have you never Rodrigo seen this guy? The human Kendall. This is not the face of a man who has seen that guy. I don't think it's the face of a man, to be honest <laughs> with you. <mate. laughs> looks like a. Looks yeah. like someone's painted over a Guy Fox mask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, how fucking ugly do you have to be for that plastic cat mask to be better <laughs> than your actual face? It's fucking horrific. <laughs> but yeah, like, mo- uh, if you if you can tell someone's had cosmetic surgery, it's bad. Most cosmetic surgery is bad. I think it's you know? I think it's all bad, to be honest with you. I think, I've seen I've, some good ones. I think uh, you'd be better I've off. I've seen a couple of no jobs that have really sorted people out. Yeah, you but know, like, just, subtle things can be R8. I just feel like saying, like, you're better off making peace with your shit tits yeah. and then... Well, it was like, what was she called off uh, Natalie Summer off EastEnders? Natalie, Natalie Cassidy. Cassidy. She got a boob Natalie job. Ca- and oh, I was like, Sonia? Yeah. yeah. And she got a boob job. And I was like, that is not the fucking issue. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that wasn't the bit that was like, you know, bad. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, no, no. 
But you know, like I'll talk, you know, look, more power to her. If you want to get some big pl- fake plastic tits, enjoy yeah. yourself, you know, spend that East Enders Yeah, money. I just think you're better off just learning that some bits of you are minging. Yeah. Like you've really had to accept that, haven't you? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm happy with who I am. I think you look, shouldn't be. Big, I, I've always said this, like, imagine how I'd look worse with turkey teeth. I'd look worse. If I got turkey teeth, I'd look more ridiculous than I do now. Yeah, well, maybe. everyone looks ridiculous. But no one they looks go ha- good with them. Paul Smith, to be fair, that sorted him right out. His teeth were fucking bad. Yeah. I mean, he sort of fixed it. Everything got upgraded. Like yeah, it wasn't and also, teeth. he's got a turkey teeth vibe. You know, he's like, yeah. you know, he's got that new money Scouse vibe. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's who should have turkey teeth. Would, yeah. you, do, would you do a hair transplant? No. Nah, they're pointless because, like, what happens is after, like, five, ten years, um, your hairline still recedes, but the bit that has the transplant doesn't. So you just get yeah. a gap there. How much keep doing it. Can you Google how much they are? They're about could... three or... I've looked it up. I think they're about three to five grand. Why have you f- looked it up? Because I'll probably go bald. This is around the time you should get it done because too many people wait until they're already fucked. So they have to take your hair follicle yeah. f- that's already weak. Yeah. And they, like when Rooney did it, it's, a, it bald. it's annoying me that you're saying you should be getting a hair transplant right now. Receding like it, it's, it's fucking irritating, isn't it? No, I don't, I don't think it's, so. It's, it's there. That, that His hairline's fucking fine. This is worse. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. yeah. That, that I'm fine with it, though. I've always known I was going bald. Like everyone in my family's bald. I don't give a shit. It's what happens to Adelaide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So your mum's bald? <laughs> <laughs> well, after the chemo, I doesn't really suit her. <laughs> to be honest. I told her she looked loads better with her. But, you know, will she listen? Will she fuck? <laughs> oh, old fucking stupid lumpy tits. <laughs> <laughs> old stupid lumpy tits. Well, lumpy tits. And yeah. you, did you do a Mother's Day card with that? <laughs> I'll be honest, I was looking for ages. Clintons were not helpful. In your accent, that sounded like a child's cartoon. Oh, oh lumpy tits. Oh, stupid lumpy tits. Stupid lumpy tits. Oh, hello, Mrs. Stupid Lumpy Tits. It's lovely to see you there. Is that a wig you're wearing? I've much preferred your natural hair, to be honest with you. At some point, Mrs. Lumpy Tits, you have to weigh up quality of life versus longevity because are you really sacrificing a proper lifestyle if you can't move around a lot? Have you thought about complementing your chemotherapy with alternative therapies? such as homeopathy. <laughs> I must say, though, I'm going to get home tonight and watch a compilation video about Zidane Zidane. <laughs> Thanks to being reminded because you're big, bold bumps. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Old lumpy tits. <laughs> On CBBC. <laughs> 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 uh, between four and five grand at, ha- at Harley Street for a That's hard. transplant. You can't move on from uh, that. You can't move on. I'm just thinking about how the show old lumpy tits would go. What's the? Do you have a theme in your head? What, sorry? Do you have a theme? I think it'd be all like, I see it being like animated like rhubarb and custard, you know, where it's all like sketchy, wobbly lines and stuff like that. Like, yeah. wah, 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 Lumpy tits. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Episode 7. Old Lumpy Tits waits in all day for a call from a Macmillan's nurse. (laughs) (laughs) Old Lumpy Tits is feeling very weak today. She's struggling to eat her soup. (laughs) Old Lumpy Tits is arrested for her illegal use of cannabis oil. That's very naughty, said the policeman. I need it for my lumpy tits. <laughs> Get out of bed, lumpy tits. We're going to go pick a grave. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to go pick a grave. Like, that's an activity that you do with people who are dying. <laughs> Where do you want to be buried? It, it, it is. You need to ask them. Yeah, we don't go pick one out. <laughs> you should. Do you want this one on the left or on the right? Yeah. Well, so you don't go for your house, but you're going to be there forever. <laughs> I'm less concerned about that, to be honest. <laughs> you know, like, I've got to live in the house. Yeah. Oh, you go anywhere? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Just fuck your dead, ashes yeah. in the bin. He's already, he's already said I can stuff a mountain. Yeah. Sell my body to paedophiles. I don't, I don't, care. Like, you know, like... I don't think paedophiles are going to want it. 
Yeah, that's a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Use me as a dummy. <laughs> like, the police come and tackle me while I sneak around the back. <laughs> just use your DNA and plant it in yeah. evidence and stuff. There's just me stood still, like dead, stuffed and mounted outside an Aldi while people have got a camera phone in my face. <laughs> I'm going on tour this year. In October and November 2024, I am going to 20 different venues across the UK and Ireland with my brand new tour, In Sickness. This is my first ever UK stand-up tour, and I really want you all to come. You can get tickets via the website www.freddyquinn.co.uk. Come down, show us your love, show us your support. Say hello after the podcast, we'll get pictures. You'll have a great show. It's an absolutely depraved hour of stand-up from me, and plus I've got a special guest who's going to be opening the show up and doing my support. If you fancy it, tickets are available, www.freddyquinn.co.uk. This episode is brought to you by Holy Energy. Holy Energy are our new pals. They are a different way to take energy drinks. You're looking awfully energetic at the moment, Rob. It's almost like you've got too much energy. I'm full to the brims with Holy, mate. Uh, like, genuinely, I used to like drink way too many energy drinks. Uh, it was a problem. I had to knock it on the head. Because like, it's, it's a really mad thing we do where we drink like a, a big can of something full of taurine and then sit at a desk and do nothing. And then you end up with heart failure like him. That's a bad thing to do. So these are healthier than normal drinks? Much healthier the normal energy drinks got far less of the mad ingredients loads more like healthy stuff in it still natural but caffeine but does that mean they compromise on taste absolutely not they are delicious I've been having loads of them at the gym and stuff been really enjoying them holy energy a class and also they're like cheaper per drink than it would be for a normal one so give them a go uh, if you want to get involved uh, you can get a discount from us so we recommend the starter set it starts at 19 99 but you can use the code DMT5 to get £5 off on your first order it gets uh, seven flavours loads of different nice ones uh, I love the uh, strawberry shark. Ooh. And you get loads of different drinks out of them as well. Yeah, you do. There's all different stuff in them. There's some of them are hydration, some of them are energy, some of them are like iced teas. All dead nice. I've been really enjoying Speaking them. Speaking uh, as a man who's got a dodgy heart, yeah. uh, this is a much better alternative to energy drinks. It's cheaper, it's healthier, it tastes better. And... They are with us. They are DMT pals. So get on it. Holy energy. Get on their website and use the code DMT5 at checkout. Get started on their starter set and you'll be having a great time with loads of energy. Go to uk.weareholy.com and use the code DMT5 for £5 off on your first order. The Army of the Dead needs you. Join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod to get even more from this podcast. If you love it, you can get an extra episode every week. We've got loads of specials on there. There's more stuff going up all the time. And most importantly, you are the reason, you who've signed up to the Army of the Dead, are the reason that we can go so hard. The reason we don't need to give a fuck about upsetting anybody is that we have you behind us. So join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod. Get yourself a free trial for a week if you like it's three pounds a month you get loads of extra stuff now here's a little taster of a recent episode from patreon for you to enjoy notorious silent man character who stands in busy roads blocking traffic with no explanation <laughs> mysteriously returns <laughs> you're gonna lose your oh, I'm so, you're gonna, i love him already you're gonna lose your fucking mind I when you read him. about this guy <laughs> He's done, honestly, years in prison for this. Fuck yes! <laughs> for the best part of a decade, David Hamilton has been repeatedly standing in the middle of the road, then refusing to speak to police officers, lawyers, court staff and medics. Hang on, has he been run over? He, no, no, and he's no, still like, no, nope. he stands in the middle of the road, <laughs> waits to get arrested, gets <laughs> arrested, refuses, refuses to, to talk to anybody. Yeah. They sentence him to years in prison. <laughs> He comes out and immediately does the same thing. I love Freddie, is this you without a beard? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you saw him in the front row of one of our shows, you would not blink twice, would you? A man who repeatedly stands in the middle of a busy road and blocks traffic until he's arrested and then refuses to speak to anyone has done it again. <laughs> David Hampson has been repeating the behaviour for the best part of a decade, but his silence means the reasons behind his actions remain unknown. Ten years. Can we get him on here? Ten years. <laughs> How funny would it be to get him on as a guest and he just sits there and says nothing? It'd still be better than Fassold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd it it, probably be in the top half of our guests. So, so he, he, he's been doing this for the best part of a decade. He'd have as many confessions as Fassold brought with him. <laughs> 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 goes to prison, comes out, stands in the road. So it's the three and a half years. Three and a half years? F- fucking hell, pedos get less than that. Three and a half years, comes out, same again. 
literally does not care. He was sentenced to three and a half years in 2021 after a jury found he was a mute of malice, not mute by visitation of God, and found he was guilty of breaking a criminal behaviour order by blocking the road outside Swansea Central Police Station. Can I just say? Do it outside the police station! <laughs> this guy doesn't give a fuck! Can I just say, as well, right, is that... Like, why do judges always talk like this? Yeah. You know, he was a mute of malice and not a mute by visitation of God. Because that's what's in our laws. Our laws were all written like fucking when everyone had powdered wigs and shit. And I like, know, but uh, it would just be so easy to go, he's a cunt, not a spacker. Yeah, we should definitely update that. <laughs> Oh, he is a spacker, though. I'd love it if Freddie wrote, rewrote the laws. If you just got to re... Just the wording. Right. Can You're we... guilty of being a fucking pedo nonce. Can we just... You're, you're accused of being a cunt. I plead spacker. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounce you a mong. <laughs> Can we just can, can we just take a moment? Guilty of third degree mongery. Can, can we just take a moment to look at that uh, article on the side? Text of smirking deal. Uh, text of smirking dealer revealed as he had been selling class A and B drugs. Yeah, that and it's a selfie as, as the highest looking man you've ever seen in your there, entire life. There is a, a wonderful uh, like uh, thing that's like been collected into listicles and stuff before that was on Reddit. There was a thread of uh, people being arrested for magic mushroom possession and their mug shots. Oh, just and it's just people. People like <laughs> grinning to fuck, having the best time. It's so right. fun. Right, read about this guy after being released. Uh, hang on, where down, we down. Yeah. After being released go. from his sentence, he returned to the road outside the police station and blocked traffic on three occasions, and has now been sent back to jail. <laughs> Throughout the years of offending, the 53-year-old has refused to engage with the legal process and has refused to speak to police officers, lawyers, court staff, probation officers, magistrates, <laughs> judges, and a psychiatrist. A <laughs> judge has previously said. He believes the defendant's deliberate silence is the result of his breathtaking arrogance and insolence. <laughs> it's rattled him so hard, hasn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely rattled this yeah. judge because he doesn't. Know, there's nothing he can yeah, do with it. Because he's just not. You're engaging. so insolent. It's like probably autistic by the sounds of it. Yup. Lucy Mansfield, prosecuting, told Swansea Magistrates Court that on October 17 this year, police were alerted to a man who was stopping traffic on Grove Place outside Swansea Poli- Central Police Station. When they went to investigate, they found Hampson. The defendant was taken aside and spoken to, but he did not engage with the officers. Police advised him to leave the area, but he went straight back into the road <laughs> and so was arrested. <laughs> <laughs> just go home. That's so funny to just <laughs> silently walk back into the middle of the road. What a power man! I hope he does it with his hands on his hips. <laughs> <laughs> the fu- the just swivels around, moonwalks silently. <laughs> <laughs> the following day, Hampson appeared before Justice Charge of the obstructed the highway, but refused to speak or acknowledge the court, and as he did not enter a plea to the charge, a plea of not guilty was entered on his behalf. The defendant was bailed pending a trial and left the court building and went back to standing in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Literally walked, walked, what a fuck you, what a fuck you, to walk straight out of the court and go straight back to that like, spot. Why are they assuming he's pled not, not guilty? I think this guy is pleading guilty every yeah. time. He's not he's not querying it, is he? He's not saying he didn't. He's just immediately going, yeah, I like standing in the fucking road. Honestly. He's not even saying he likes it. Honestly. Like, he's got to like the, it a bit. The best way that you fuck this guy over is you just stick two temporary traffic lights out of the side and just ignore him all day. Oh, no, no. Give him a luminous coat and a big l- l- lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you wouldn't want your body used for after you died? I genuinely don't care. There's a thing that happened in America, right? Like, uh, I think we may maybe even talked about it, about how like uh, someone's mum, they, they ticked a box to say, like, you can donate my body to science. And it got sold to the American military. And yeah, they, they, blew they blew it, it up. up. I want that to happen. Test bombs on me. That's fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, but is there anything you don't want to happen to you? I genuinely don't really care. So if I I'm said dead. if I said your body was yeah. going to be donated to the um, Old Trafford Manchester United Museum, yeah, no, and, you be, that. and you were going to be and you were going to put in like a Man United shirt. Well, no, obviously not. I'd much rather be with the necrophiles and rapists. Well, <laughs> to be fair, just pop, pop me in the boardroom, cut out the middleman. <laughs> How much? Yeah. If, if we gave you five million quid when you were alive? Yeah. Can we do that to you when you're dead? Uh, the fact you have to think about it is mental to me. Yeah, it's insane. No, I'm trying to think about a way that I could, like, yeah, like, I'm sure I could uh, turn that to my advantage. I just just before I just before I die, eat lots of stink bombs. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. like, I can't. I, if you could give, you could have full use of my body for the rest of life for 
100 million quid. Easy. Oh, wow, what a bargain. <laughs> I'm sure people will be queuing up around the block. Come by a fat man's corpse. <laughs> Only a million pounds. <laughs> I'm out. Use it as a boulder to like yeah. seal up a cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some Freddie Quinn fans. I'd love that. I'd like Jesus raises up. He has to roll him out of the way to get out. There might be some Freddie Quinn fans. Do you think any of your fans have a million pounds? <laughs> no, but... Go they fund could, me. Oh, go fund me. Yeah, yeah. Forget the gang rape one. New go fund me. Yeah. My body. Yeah. Million pounds. Who are we buying it off? You're dead. I'll just take it. No, like like you give me the million pounds now. Yeah. And then I sign a thing to say that when I die, yeah. you can just have it. It's yours. You Does do. the crane to lift you out come out of the million pounds? <laughs> How much are cranes? Oh, I don't know. No You're going to need a big one. I don't imagine a crane to hire for an afternoon is more than about 10K, is it? Literally no idea, mate. You're gonna need a big one. Okay. Never hired a crane. Yes, you can <laughs> have it then. Okay, thanks. I'll take that. I okay. would I would sell my body to someone who like owns a rundown fun fair. <laughs> and then they can just stick it and have the best ghost train. <laughs> you just because I, I just got yeah. yeah. I'm decomposing and yeah, shit. Yeah, just like <laughs> That's fucking realistic. That. <laughs> or they could just send you around on the roller coasters to test the safe. <laughs> <laughs> just come back. There's a branch sticking out your head. Like right, we'll get. We need to recalibrate. Yeah. <laughs> this comes. This one's come back with pretzel. No, he's always. <laughs> <laughs> Old lumpy toes. <laughs> lumpy toes. That's a kill Bob Marley, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, as nasty as that is, I think I'm technically think right. That is right. what killed yeah, him. Lumpy, lumpy toes. toes. Yeah, you had knick-knack toes. Did he? <laughs> you had knick -knack toes. I have no idea. <laughs> it turns out he should have worried about one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, I think he got cancer on one of his toes, mm. but his religion didn't allow him to treat it. Yeah. So what was his religion? Rastafarian. Rastafarian? You know, like, like yeah, there's like loads of stuff with Rastafarian as well. I think you're not allowed blood transfusions, is it? Like you like that with uh, it's like Mormons or something because Prince was like that. It was one of the things that did for him. Like he was in a religion where he couldn't get blood I transfusions had, and shit. No, so I always thought up until right now that Bob Marley got shot. Right. Up until when, just now? Yeah, yeah, You just assumed a black man got shot, did no, you? No, I just assumed, like, musicians get shot, don't they? Uh -huh. so, Do they? I knew, I, knew, I knew he died when he was young. Yeah. So, I just assumed. Yeah, just yeah. assumed. I don't really like You thought name. he made his I have a dream speech and then got sharp <laughs> head? Yeah, he'd just been released from Robin Island, hadn't he? That was <laughs> yeah, what, that's about yeah, when it happened. Yeah, yeah. I uh, he was, have... He was with the other Black Panthers. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was, him. yeah, yeah. I don't like his music. He so. just won gold in the Olympics and done a salute, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it that was Jesse Owens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like his music, so yeah. I just if, great bobsleigh team though. If I, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to kiss your egg, Mister Marley. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, uh, yeah. you don't like any no Bob Marley songs? No, nah. Bob Marley is one of those things where you have to like you have to work so hard to not like any Bob Marley. No, yeah, like, you don't. Be you don't. Really easy. It's like Abba. You got to be such a miserable cunt for the not to be a one ABBA song yeah. that gets you, you. Yeah, you have to be like, you have, shit. To be like so, you have to be trying hard, so hard to be a twat. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, it's like, like you're Bob Marley's one of that. You don't like any of them. No woman, no cry. There's nothing yeah. for you. No woman, no cry. Yeah, no. yeah. Reminds me of Jolly Boat. What? Do you remember Jolly Boat? I do remember Boat? Jolly Boat, yeah. She be the pirate queen. Just because someone's done a parody of it doesn't mean that the yeah, song's they were, bad. They, they, they were an act in Liverpool. They were like a... Um, <laughs> a pirate theme music. And they used music. to be pirates, pirate theme music thing. Yeah. And they had a bit about No Woman, No Crying. It just reminds me of that. So, no, that song's dead to me. Sorry, um, uh, fuck Bob Marley. A pirate theme, the musical comedy. Act? And they were better than it sounds. They did really well. Like they were, you know, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they'd smash it over 10. Yeah. But then the problem was is that over 20, there wasn't enough pirate themed related stuff <laughs> so they'd really fucking nail the pirate thing over yeah. and then they'd be like okay who's on tinder <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> just you know I reminds me of the roost battle last night someone was telling me during one of the roost battles one of the other acts started not the one I was at but one act started doing crowd work what? Fucking hell! so at a roost battle they were like oh this cunt blah 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 and then someone was like and then the other guy was like 
ah, but look at this dickhead in that shirt. And you're like, what are you doing? That's not how you meant to be roasted. It's not what a roast is. I saw someone try to beat the frog uh, the other week, which is a, a, an open mic competition where you're trying to make it to five minutes without getting gonged off the stage. Did you make it to the five? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy had got to like, uh, it's someone you know very well, uh, somebody who was at your roast. They uh, got to like th uh, four minutes in and been doing quite well. And then went, oh, I thought that'd be five minutes. So what are you drinking there, mate? Three cards. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Because like it, it kind of got, got a laugh. When it's like, oh, I thought that would be uh, five minutes. People were like, ha, ha, ha. But if you just started any joke, he wouldn't have even had to get to the end of it. He would have just yeah. started. He would have got through and done all right. But because he went, what are you drinking there, mate? It was so funny. The audience just went, no. <laughs> and him off instantly. Have, have you ever been carded off? Oh, yeah. Loads of times, yeah. Really? Yeah. I got, I got carded off at 4 minutes 58 once when everyone else on the bill had got through. I was the last person up. It was yeah. at the Preston Frog. Before I went on, the compere went, hey, you know you can gong people off, right? Before the last person. <laughs> That's funny. I, I did 4 minutes 58, got gonged off, and it was like the lowest point of my life. I had to stand there at the back when they did a clap off with everyone else who I'd just watched be <laughs> shite. You're like and I was the on only one. <laughs> No, I got gone the bunch of times. I, uh, I did, uh, yeah, like I, it took me a few times to win. I, I remember, kept coming second. I remember oh. one time getting gonged off at the Frog and Bucket in Preston when it was open mm -hmm. for the prestigious title of Preston Comedian of the Year. Yeah. Now I thought, even though this was a heat, I thought I was a shoe in to win Preston Comedian of the Year, yeah. given that I was the only comedian in the competition from Preston. <laughs> so I thought, de facto, yeah. I should really be winning this. Now, I'd, I'd come off, I, I, I had a false confidence as an open spot. Because Not just no as an open spot. Yeah, no. What? Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He used to be arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> My God, what a transformation you've undergone. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think that since, since I've not been able to drink, I yeah. think I've really sort of, you know, become more... What, uh, reality said you? Philosophical and stoic. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Is that, is that what you think? Yeah, massively. There's the arrogance again. I'm less... <laughs> I'm certainly less quick to anger. Uh-huh. Yeah. I only get in approximately... Like, so So last week... Last week we were talking about you getting in arguments a lot, though. Then we drove... We didn't even get 10 seconds up the road before you had an argument. And then I said... You went, that's one. And I yeah. said I always get in two arguments. Yeah. And I didn't get in the second one. Wow. Well so done. He only got in one argument with a stranger on I, his lunch I, I, break. I get in arguments with strangers on a daily basis. It's insane. I love how you're like, I'm so philosophical and stoic, as though you hadn't pulled up a gang rape clip 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that part of your philosophical stoicism? Was that Marcus Aurelius, was it? <laughs> Enjoy the gang rapes, for they are funny for you. <laughs> Do you get arguments on the street or on like Twitter? Uh, the street, like yeah. with people, I'll happily literally just wandering about. He just angers people before he's even said anything. There was it's one just time... insane. He just chafes with the world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's true. Yeah, the, that's the true. time when you walked into traffic so that someone would have to slam on so you could have a go at their drive. That, that was ridiculous. so funny. It was so insane. Yeah. So uh, Freddie looked up the road. We saw a car that was coming clearly too fast that was not stopping at the zebra I crossing. I was on a zebra crossing. You were not on the zebra crossing. I was. No, 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 no. I was like the Beatles. No, no, no. Like you were. You, Abby. Road. You were near a zebra crossing. Me and Rob both looked at the car and went, oh, we'll it's, wait for that car to go past. It you were all four of the Beatles. It doesn't... <laughs> It didn't have chance to stop. It like it couldn't have done the speed it was going. Yeah. Like smoothly anyway. It was not happening. So Freddie decided to he made full eye contact. He looked at the guy, then stepped out in front of him, and then when the guy screeched to a halt right in front of him, went Fuck off! like that at him. <laughs> Screamed, gave him both fingers. Despite this guy not killing him after he's thrown his fat carcass in front I, of the car. I have a different recollection. Also, what happens when... So there's a very what, funny thing that happens. When Freddie gets really angry and he tries to swear at someone, he does the friend thing <laughs> whilst, whilst doing the finger. So he, al he always... He'll be furious and he'll go, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> it's I, so funny. There's a little penguin waddle. I, fuck off! I have a different recollection. Uh-huh. So, it was a... Sunny day, <laughs> and I was gently walking uh, <laughs> around this street, uh, and I decided to cross 
at the zebra crossing, as is my right. And I got midway across the zebra crossing. It's called the hippo crossing when he's on it. <laughs> turned, and there was a car coming towards me at pace. And then they screeched on. I didn't move because I'm not a pussy. They And because you never move. They, they screeched on. And then they looked to blame me. And I said, excuse me, sir. <laughs> You want to remember. They your... looked to blame me. You... They said nothing. <laughs> you want to remember your highway code and that pedestrians have the right of way. And he said, "There's a very good point. I've been having a bad day today, and I thought I would take it out on you, a stranger." And I said, "I don't tolerate that, sir." But also, each of us has our own backstory. And he went, "Thank you. Good day." And then those two have made the rest. Of it. <laughs> right. See, see. Whilst he thinks that's what happened, what actually happened was. <laughs> 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 that was it. That was the whole extent of it. <laughs> well, me and Tom just looked at him like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I get really angry with strangers really quickly. Yeah. I remember there was one time and I picked Alfie Brown up when he was doing a podcast here. Mm. Um, and um, we parked up and there was a woman next to us who parked her car literally in between two parking spaces. She parked it in the mid- in the Her car was over the line of the two. So it was yeah. little fucking- I did that. It's it's a little yeah, but you've got your own space, haven't you? No, but so, I, I do it so I do it so no one hits me. I'll really? take two spaces so no one goes near my car. Oh, you're an awful con. No, I park badly so people don't trust you to go near. They'll be like, he can't drive. I'm not parking anywhere. That's near. the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that's fucking awful. That's honestly, you're a terrible piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. My car's <laughs> fine. Fuck you, guess. I hope that condition worsens. Good, because it will. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's God punishing you for taking up two spaces. Shit parking. Yeah. yeah. Every time you park like that, you get a bit wobblier. <laughs> that, that, every You're time... gradually moving up the rankings in your seven-a-side team. I every... love how you describe my condition as wobbly. Like I'm made of jelly. <laughs> every time, every <laughs> time you park like that, your toes just get a little bit more anti-clockwise. Yeah. Like that, the way it's they like, point. you know the monkey paw from The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> it's like one finger just does that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I said to her, she got out the car and she went to leave. I went, you're not leaving your car like that. And she went, well, it's all right. I went, no, it isn't. I said, move it. And she went, <laughs> and they got in her car and I made her move it. Yeah. But she deflated. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking. This is only previous experience with women, being inflatable. <laughs> and, then I, and then I looked her in the eyes and went, Fuck off. <laughs> I just find it so funny. It's such like an instinctive reaction for you to go for that. I get I get I, I get blistering rage inside of me yeah. when I have to deal with anybody that I don't already know or do. Meeting people new is is the worst thing for I, I hate it. Yeah. I hate everything about it. But to it. be clear, Freddie doesn't have autism. I was just about to ask <laughs> Are you autistic? It's no. just, this is a long running thread on this podcast. No. Everyone I, who isn't Freddie thinks he's autistic, look, but Freddie doesn't I, believe it. I like routine and and having this. I've got a weird thing with food. I don't really like music or loudness in any way. Yeah. I don't like socialising or meeting people, but I am not autistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just have all the characteristics yeah. of an autistic yeah. person. No, other no. than having the symptoms, there's yeah, no evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm bad at maths. I don't have cancer. <laughs> I just have lumpy tits and a bald head. <laughs> The origin story of Mrs. Lumpy Tits. <laughs> do you fixate on things? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, if you get into something, do you get really into it? You research it a lot, it becomes your obsession? Um, I do potentially have a couple of fixations and interests. Mm -hmm. And what would they be? Watches. Pasta. <laughs> and pasta. And I love it. His special interest is being fat. <laughs> and modern art. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are the three things. Watches and pasta. Yeah, and, yeah, and modern, modern art. art. Yeah, you're so autistic. He's so autistic. He's not autistic. He's so, really you, autistic. You mean, What's you, not autistic about that? Do you just love eating pasta, or are you like watching how it's made? And oh yeah, I make it. I make it. What did you get for Christmas? What was that? I got a pasta making course. For Christmas. <laughs> and he got he got some earmuffs so we can go to the shopping centre. <laughs> <laughs> he got a new helmet and uh, a, a lovely licky pad to put on the window. 
I just, I'm, I'm not autistic. I just. We've got footage of you trying to eat a baked bean. You're autistic. Yeah. What happens when he eats baked beans? He can't eat baked beans. It's like it was insane. We so we had a thing. He's got a phobia about eating beans. So we we're like, for two thousand, when we get two thousand patrons, he'll eat beans because he thought we'd never get two thousand. That's so weird because I can't describe this, but you look like you love beans. Yeah. I look- can't <laughs> tell you what I mean by that. It looks like a bean. But you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you look like you fucking love beans. Man. I know exactly what you mean. It looks like he eats nothing. Nothing but beans, cheese, and sausage pasties from Greg's. <laughs> Looks like that's what he eats all day, every day. But well, I surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do not like But he, that. like, freaked out. He was such a pussy about it. We got loads of complaints because he was such a fanny about it. And I agree. He was fucking pathetic. I'm the same with potatoes. What? what? They make me sick. I mean, again, you Come look on. like a man who likes a tater. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a man yeah, yeah, yeah. who likes a tater. Really? I, they make me... Every like, form of potato. Unless they're very thin. It's the texture of like a crumbly, like the mashed potato on my tongue. Chips. They have to be thin. So, and I, even then, not fussed on them. Crisps. They they don't they are not like crumbly mashed potato. Right. Do you know what? So I, they're they're they are made of potato, thing. but they they have like a crunchy texture. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's the crumbly mash on my tongue just makes me. Uh, I mean, Literally not even every comedian has some sort of mental illness. Like yeah. every one of them, like has some sort of disorder. Yeah. That's fucking wild. Like Jamie Hutchins is the same with Mash. He's yeah, freaked yeah. out by Mash. Yeah, yeah, yeah me and him. Agree and he's with another Mash looking man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. looks like school dinner potato. He's like, yeah, <laughs> he does, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks like he'd have a green skin on him. You'd have to peel <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like he's just been plopped on a chair by a fucking lady with a mustache. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, fucking have some Jamie Hutchins. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I get the bean fit. Like, yeah. I love beans, but I'm the same with potatoes. I physically can't. In my brain doesn't recognise it as food. Yo, yeah, so I'm, I'm really fussy, so sometimes I'll... Oh, mm. I went to... Uh, so that was a bit gay, wasn't it? Mm. Yes, it was, I went yeah. to uh, <laughs> I went to Yo Sushi for the first time. Yeah. That Yo Sushi at Middlebrook. Yeah. It's wank. Right. Yo Sushi is... I can't believe that it exists as a restaurant. It's fucking shocking. What's it's it? What's sh- the problem with it? Everything about it is shit. The fucking plates that come round are always the shit plates that you don't fucking want. The ones that you, you spend ages just looking, going, "Oh, I hope this comes out." It's like I could have fucking ordered it. Yeah, how how does can. it work? I've you, never you been. You can order. You can order. What? You, you can just ask them for things. Yeah, but not the sushi that comes round. Yeah, but you can ask them for sushi. You can go, I want a specific thing, they'll bring you it. You don't have to just have the stuff on the conveyor. Oh. Those are optional. You can go, hey, can I have this? And then you can grab a little bit off there if you want as well. So I thought that it was just, you just yeah. had to wait for stuff. Right, see, what you, you've got angry at is you being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it clear. That's, yeah. They didn't make it clear. Right. It's like going into a Mackey, sitting down at a table and being annoyed a waiter doesn't come over. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what as well, this really pissed me off, is so they got a little robot that goes around, yeah. like collecting the plates and they stuff. They scare me. Yeah, and you just stick your fucking, your Dick empties on the, uh, on the back of the robot. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, end of the uh, meal, they mm-hmm. give us a bill. They've already added a 10% service charge. Yeah. I was like... Are you fucking messing? Yeah. Are you, the, the food came round on a fucking conveyor belt and there's a robot doing the dishes. What the fuck do you mean a service charge? You robbing cunts. Yeah. So I got them to take it off. Yeah. Well, it's because you can't order things again. You know, you can't have that. Yeah, but no one fucking served me. Yeah. I'm I sat down. To be fair, you should get it taken off if you've not dealt with a single person. Uh, yeah, that's insane. And the fact that they've put it on anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that they've just got ah, oh, fuck the fat cunt. There you go. You can put that on. For some sushi you didn't really want that went down a fucking yeah. travel later. Yeah, sushi's all right. It's not the best, but it's like fine. It's like the problem with the one at Middlebrook is I don't imagine they're that busy. I think that sushi's going round a few times on that fucking circuit. You want to be at one in a fucking city centre where it's getting refreshed constantly, you know? Is it all you it, can eat? You can just take... No, no, you pay for each dish. So it fucking adds up as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's, not, yeah, yeah. it's not cheap no. either. Right. Considering right. what it is. I well, it's not like fresh salmon and stuff. It's expensive ingredients, isn't it? I've never had sushi in my life. Don't, don't uh, it's, plant it's it. The, I, I had it once sushi. and I will never have it again. Well, yeah. you feel with beans, that's how I feel with sushi. It's You've horrendous. never had sushi? You're no. Good. Good shit. I, I, it's amazing. It's cold. It's yes. raw fish. Yes. yes. Cooked fish. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like millions of people eat it every day and have a nice time. Yeah. Freaks. 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 Right. Uh, uh, if you want to have a little look down the camera and call the nation of Japan freaks? Freaks. <laughs> <laughs> 
freaked. Your wrestling's good, but other than that, freaked. <laughs> I absolutely love sushi. Like, it's one of the things I miss uh, being a veggie. Like, you know, veggie sushi. You would never go pescatarian? Ah, it's a fucking cop out. It's bullshit, that. Why'd you go vegetarian? Took too much acid, can't eat meat anymore. His girlfriend's vegetarian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like, I had a big acid. He, he, he has this fake story about having a acid and talking to an octopus. It's all nonsense. His girlfriend's vegetarian yeah. and she is privately wealthy and yeah. she funds his lifestyle of fucking nonsense. She was fine with me and me, though. Like, you know, like she was like, it wasn't an issue. It was no, fine. but sometimes but like, when a woman says that they are fine, what yeah. they really mean is fucking stop it. Yeah. But she won't pay for it, so no. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it made it loads. No, what it was, it made it loads easier because there was veggie food all around the house anyway, you know, so it makes it like a fucking million times easier to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she just stopped putting meat in his bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's mad like um do the day like no me no <laughs> like i was doing a gig the other night that was in like this fucking like brewery thing and there was like a barbecue and this comic came up to me with this bag and he goes here smell this and puts it in my face and it's like it was a rack of ribs and he yeah. was being like oh smell how nice this is it made me fucking gip i'm such a pathetic cunt with it now like honestly like the smell of meat is horrible to I me mean, now. Made you and I, used, I used to love meat i would eat meat every fucking meal that's the thing that changed is it doesn't appeal to me anymore because of the acid yeah like the moral arguments of course like you know my missus was like you know putting those out there all the time yeah but like I, it doesn't i don't want it okay anymore. slightly more important question who books this gig well where there's a barbecue yes i will hit you up with the details <laughs> don't Thank you worry you so mate. much it's a shite gig but there's free barbecue Ah, uh, okay you sold me on free barbecue yeah yeah yeah. you yeah. could honestly say uh you have to wank a man off and i'd be like no. you'd be like oh i get that as well <laughs> You're like the weirdest homeless guy ever. You're not doing it for smack. You're like wanking guys off for ribs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Meat for meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You promise we're going to KFC after this? Like, you promise? <laughs> Gravy, no beans. Swear it better not be pizza. He's just wanking men off onto a hot dog like it's a mustard pump. <laughs> you've, you've... He's in a glory hole with his burger over. <laughs> You've got your own podcast, William, haven't you, that you do with uh, Paddy? Paddy, yeah, my yeah. blood. Uh, now, are you a fan of useless features? Yeah, love them. Well, There's I'm... only so after about... Do you want a, do you want a new producer? <laughs> <laughs> have we got a sting for you? Yes. Uh, we have got some dog shit features. <laughs> but you need for, after about, you know, a year, you run out of shit to say. There's only so many... You'd think I'd run out of ways to call him fat and gay, but I still keep going. <laughs> still keep are you, going. Are you gay? Yeah, really gay. No! <laughs> It's, it's, you're allowed to be, it's fine. I don't know. I know, gay. we keep telling them this, it's fine, Freddie. We all love and support you as the flamboyant yeah. gay autistic man well, you are. Uh, yeah, I support you, I don't love you, but because uh, that's right. gay. It's time for Cunt of the Week. It's time for Cunt of the Week. I see who it is. Oh, it's Lab Baby. It's, it's Lab like, Baby again. It's like, it's like, it's uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to tell you three stories, and we've got to decide who's the Cunt of the Week. We're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Um, two of those things are true. <laughs> the fun along the way thing is very subjective based yeah, on the story. Yeah, like, I'll be honest, the track record is not great on that front. Yeah. We've, been, we've been having great success with Cunt of the Week recently. And also, if there's, no, if there's no standard cunt, it can just turn into Spackanori, can't it? It really can, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all depends on the guest, so no pressure. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's one. At Vittorio's tour show, there was a woman behind me that got told she couldn't get served at the bar because it closed as the show was about to start. Jesus Christ, I'd be in tears if that were me. <laughs> she was loudly moaning about it to her fella and started saying that the bartender was a cunt and he was drunk with power from his shitty job in hospitality. Wow. Drunk with power from being a barman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember my days of being a pub barman and my God. That... Look upon my kingdom and despair, ye mortals. Yeah. I, felt like, I felt like the king of the world. My domain reaches from the Quantro all the way to the Smyrna Vodka. <laughs> I remember when I was rinsing out that bottle bin, I was like... I'm the king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that time I had to break up a turd with a broken pool cue, feeling powerful as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. <laughs> I turned around in my chair. Me, we all couldn't help overhearing. Is this really going to ruin your evening? That's not how you start a sentence with a stranger. Yeah, well, yeah. even Freddie knows that's confrontational. No, 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 that's, that's not confrontational enough. Oh. <laughs> so you go... Stop being a dickhead. Shut up, you fucking spacker. Yeah, yeah, what you do is you pick a facial flaw. Right. And you go, shut up, you big nose bitch. Yeah. 
like that. And she goes, oh. I would have said literally nothing in this. Would uh, you? Because you're a pussy. You no, it's because what's it got to do? Stand up for the working man. They're not doing it. They're just sat in their chair. If they go over and abuse him, it's yeah. different. Yeah, yeah but during the, the show. It's not, it, was, it was about to start. It's about, it hadn't started it's about yet. to start. Ah, okay. Right. right, right so, yeah. well, well, she's moaning because the bar closes about to start. I think maybe it's ruining his show as well. Go on, carry it on. Uh, I'm sat down to her boyfriend. A twink with a pudding bowl haircut chirps up. What's it got to do with you? Me. Look, you can get one in 20 minutes at the interval. Just chill. She announces, I'm done talking with you. Me. Oh, thank you. Her, just turn around. The screen's behind you. Me. Screen. Do you think you're at the cinema? Lol. Yeah. <laughs> Good burn. Yeah, great burn. They're not at the cinema. The Don Rickles cinema? She was, fu- <laughs> she was fuming I'd stumped her. The people around us were laughing at her. I turned around chuckling. Needless to say, I had the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. And then all the people got up and started applauding. Uh, great zing about the cinema guy. This is the most I was a Vittorio show thing I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. How on earth did you manage to be the most pretentious thing at Vittorio's show? <laughs> 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 this is so Vittorio's audience. If this was our audience, like two fat slobs would have had a fight and that would have been yeah. done. <laughs> so I turned around chuckling. I stood up during the opening act to let someone pass me to go to the loo. After that, they stopped periodically lightly kicking the back of my chair. Who's the cunt here? Ah, oh, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're all cunts. Yeah. You're all cunts. I don't know why you even fucking got involved. Like, why do you say anything to him? Like, you know, like sometimes people just moan to each other and then they sit and watch the show. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait, hang about. Go up a minute. Yeah. So they didn't say this to the barman? No, no, no they're, they're just, just talking to each other. To each other. They're just oh, sat- I... Th- I thought she turned into Alan said. Carr. Oh! <laughs> but no, remember, not gay. <laughs> I thought that the barman had refused to serve her, yeah. and then she'd said to the barman that he was drunk with power. No, she just said it to her fella. Oh, she was loudly moaning well, about it to her fella. Sorry, mate. Nothing to do with you. You're the fucking cunt, then. Yeah. Just shut up. That's the sort of thing you would moan about. Like, even if you like, you're not going to even if you're not going to cause a scene, you'd be like, ah, oh, fucking couldn't get a pint. That's yeah. annoying. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the time you have when, a little moan. That's what your when, partner's for. When somebody's moaning, it's not necessarily because they think they're right. It's because they're annoyed at the situation. Yeah, and you yeah, get it out. Just want to fucking vent exactly. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. I mean, if they're moaning during the show, yeah, yeah. fair enough. Have a go, but. Like, if it's before the show. Yeah. Just These, basically, this is what this is. These people were having a private conversation. Yeah. I interrupted and they didn't like it. It's like, when I went to see Kate Bush, we got into the argument with some people next to us because they shushed my mate during a gap between songs. And it's like, I get it when she's singing. When she's singing, shut the fuck up. Yeah. But she's not doing anything right now. Also, you're not missing anything. Went straight for I the boy. of Kate Bush songs is... Is that uh, run up that hill? That's a Kate Bush song, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Went yeah. right for the boyfriend for no real reason. Yeah. A twink with a butt, like what? Yeah, real no, like, he's caught yeah. astray there. Right we interrupted their conversation and this skinny gay bastard <laughs> <laughs> with shite her piped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, oh, it's Captain Big Calves. I know who this guy is. He's a nice guy. He's yeah, a very so nice guy. Big guy's a got a dude. tattoo of our yeah, logo yeah. on his calf. He's a, he's a good dude, but yeah. I think he's, I think he's dropped a bollock here. I think we're maybe missing some Either context. that or he hasn't explained. Yeah. Exactly. From what he's explained, yeah. sounds like Big yeah, Calves has been. Yeah, he's if he is missing context, it's his yeah. fault because he's wrote the email. Yeah, so he's a cunt. But he's yeah. also he's also as well put love the feature at the end, which definitely makes him a makes cunt. Makes him a cunt for saying he likes the feature. Captain yeah, Big Cars, but he does have massive cars. Massive cars. Oh. He's not joking. Like, he's not playing around. He's right? got a big, he's big dead men talking. He's got a, a tattoo of our logo that's about as big as it is on that cushion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Size Huge. of Sean's calves? Yeah, 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 that's what his calves look like. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right, yeah. that's the first one. Okay. So we got yeah. that one. Yeah. Hey, not gay Tom. Phil Southam here, the bloody shit guy. <laughs> Remember Phil Southam? We thought he had cancer. Yeah, like what a great guy to be on this. I'm the bloody shit guy. I'm we had a we, we had a feature called Shit of the Year, and one of the categories was most likely to have cancer. He was winning until someone sent us a shit that, and he did have cancer. Yeah, yeah. Miss Lumpy Tits sent a shit. In. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> a while back, my missus was really ill. I've had a bad time with these two, haven't they? Yeah, Jesus. And hospital bound. Turns out she has pleurisy and a suspected blood clot on her lungs. After a few days, they let her home to bed rest and gave her some medicine and she was shown how to inject herself to get rid of the clot. 
That night, I went upstairs to find her sobbing. When I asked her what's wrong, she said she couldn't bring herself to inject herself and asked if I could do it. I hate needles, but I stepped up and did it for her. I drew the medicine into the syringe, pinched a load of skin on her stomach and injected her. Job done. As soon as I pulled the needle out, my stomach sank when I realised that before injecting her, I didn't do the little flick and squirt to get the air bubble out first. Fucking hell. I calmly stood up, walked to the bathroom and sat on the toilet while contemplating what I do from here, considering she might actually die. Do I A, go tell my missus I may have injected her with air, meaning she would panic, I'd have to call an ambulance, in which time she would ring her mum, etc. And if she died, I would go down as the arsehole that killed her. Or... Why is there an or? <laughs> or... Hang on. Sleep on it. It depends what time it is. How, how quickly does this cunt think he's getting an answer? Yeah. to this question oh. if you inject someone with an air bubble they die in seconds he's sent it into a podcast that isn't going to come out for three weeks <laughs> the fuck is he doing or B don't say anything write it out see what happens if she died then I could say she injected herself then I'd be the poor widower with four kids that everyone felt sorry for I went for option B turned out she survived and the only way it would have killed her is if it got into a vein which it mustn't have now time has passed I recently got her about I recently told her about the whole ordeal and she thinks I'm an absolute cunt. What do you guys think? I think you shouldn't be injecting people anymore if you can't get the fucking air bubble out. I think that um, I'd be the poor widower with four kids <laughs> is not a great situation to be in. Yeah. Like, he made it out like he'd be like, then I'd be the poor widower. <laughs> I'd be drowning fucking... in pussy. <laughs> And also, lay, ladies love a sad man with four dependents. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I look, I'm sure he would get some sympathy puss chucked his way occasionally, but it's not going to make up for the day to day. I don't think he'd even get car insurance. <laughs> Why? So I'm stupid. Yeah. What is the flick? And so he gets rid bubble? of the air bubble. That, so when you draw the medicine into the syringe, sometimes like a little bit of air will get into that. Right. So you flick it so the bubble goes to the top, and then you squirt it so that a bit of uh, the liquid comes out to push the air bubble out. Because if there's an air bubble in it, and you put that into a vein, if an air bubble goes into a vein, it can travel into your heart, cause a massive heart failure, you can die instantly. It can just kill you straight away if you inject someone with an air bubble. Oh. Yeah. So like, it, um, it would have happened instantly. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know, you, you say, straight away if she hasn't died but fucking check and what i will say as well by the way is uh injecting your stomach is gross it's yeah. the worst way to take medicine it's fucking horrible i yeah. hate it and you love suppository <laughs> i was about to say that too <laughs> <laughs> can't get enough of them have you got an eight inch suppository <laughs> <laughs> Can I take my suppository through this glory hole, please? <laughs> Just goes to the doctor to get his prescription through a little hole in the toilet wall. Well, I'm taking paracetamol up his arse for like no real reason. I think that this bloke is a bit of a cunt. Yeah. Right, I, I'll defend him a bit. Okay. He's already injected it. Yeah. That was a mistake. That was. What do you gain from telling her in that moment? I don't think you tell her ever. Like, it, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, don't make banter about it. Yeah, straight you just, after. You just don't need to tell her ever. But like, but what does he gain from? Because she'd die immediately if exactly. he had done it wrong. Yeah. So why would you? You can't you... tell her then. Yeah. Because she's dead. <laughs> so like. You know, yeah. I don't want you to keep your fucking mouth shut. Uh, check properly in it, yeah. if you're injecting. Yeah. Was, I, I, I didn't know that. So I just. Smackheads managed to do it fine. If she... Not all the time. Not all the time. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those famous living smackheads. <laughs> yeah. never yeah. die. The only... Very rarely an yeah. air bubble that gets them, though. It'll be an overdose. Like, the they the immortals, we yeah. call them. Yeah. Never seem to die, those smackheads. <laughs> it's it's usually an overdose that gets them, not an air bubble, though, isn't it? Is there a yeah. smackhead problem in Belfast? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. But in, but in Belfast, it's weird because, like, they you know, they don't have houses, but they all have fucking Instagram. So a lot of our famous people in Belfast are just smackheads. They don't have they don't have houses, but they have Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they don't, you know, they, they've no money, but they've a fucking solid data plan because they all go live <laughs> when they're all on smack and shit. Do they? Yeah. What a lot of our famous money? people are smackheads who are just on fucking TikTok live. Being mental makes you it makes you wonder why you're bothered doing stand up in it. A hundred percent. Just done smack. There's a famous one, give her name, but there's a famous one everyone follows. And on Valentine's Day, she was like, "Love being treated," and her boy got her a KFC and a dildo. <laughs> get off. She did. Freddie, finally a woman you might be able to get along with. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> your two favourite things. <laughs> That's a very lucky lady. Yeah. Freddie shags his ass with a KFC drumstick. <laughs> Says it's finger licking good. Freddy's arsehole is the bargain bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
don't know why you're being homophobic. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I think he's an arsehole for telling people. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just leave it. But I think she should like just get over it as well. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, she yeah, lived. Okay. You're not dead, it's fine. Yeah, nothing yeah, bad happened. Fucked up, yeah. The fuck are you moaning about something that didn't, like, nothing bad came of it? I think it. she's probably already a bit grumpy because the old pleurisy. <laughs> I think that's probably uh, affected her mood somewhat. Maybe, also, maybe you should kill her. No, why is it con- he's a grown man still afraid of needles? Oh, I'm afraid of needles. Well, grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up and eat food. F- you're scared of food. I'm you're not, scared of sushi. I'm not afraid of it. You're, you're deadly scared of I've sushi. I've never had it. Yeah, never. You're scared. Had I've had injections. I'm well harder than you. I'm, I'm not, afra- I'm not afraid. Of them. Yeah, but I'm not afraid of them. Give a sushi doesn't save his life. Yeah. yeah, but I'm afraid of them. But I do them anyway because I'm tough. What are you afraid of? Oh, oh, that's a great question. Um, big dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be scared. I don't know how you're staying in this studio then. <laughs> 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 yeah. So not like we pup, but like yeah. see when someone's like, oh, here's my fucking yeah. German shepherd. He's yeah. very friendly. I used to have a big phobia. It's not dog. even that big of a dog, really, a German it's shepherd. A pretty... It's a fucking shoe. A dog. German shepherd is pretty. A German shepherd is scary. Big... Is it just because you because you two are quite small? Is it just small men that yeah, are afraid maybe, of yeah. dogs? Maybe. It's when they jump up, they're like your height. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if you met a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, I bet you're scared of dragons, right? A big fat gay Not dragon. Really? If a dragon came in here, you'd cheat yourself. I wouldn't. <laughs> Fuck off! You wouldn't. You'd be no, fine. I'd be like, if a giant lizard breathing fire, you'd be like, "Hey, up, Sal." No, I'd go like this. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. Oh, uh, yeah, right. no, I don't think I'd be too bothered. You yeah, but be you're afraid too of bothered by a fire breathing. Uh, why are you afraid of needles? Very, very big. All uh, oh, right. Uh, so if it's like a dragon from like. Medieval times or whatever. Well, yeah, it's a modern thought... day dragon. No, I think you meant like. Well, I think it's got yeah, to be. It's yeah, a smart it's... dragon. I thought you meant yeah. like a Komodo. He sets on, he it's sets got... on a pile of Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> I thought got you... a Bluetooth <laughs> earpiece. <laughs> Snap dragon. <laughs> I thought. I thought you meant like a Komodo dragon come in. I just fucking. Ah, <laughs> no, I meant a fucking dragon. <laughs> Even if a Komodo came, dragon came in, they're huge and poisonous and deadly. I kick its fucking head in. A Komodo dragon would kill you so easily. I'd put a chair in the way. A chair. <laughs> You'd put a chair in the way. <laughs> two, and that two. would stop the dragon. <laughs> two chairs. <laughs> two chairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So Komodo Dragon comes through. Yeah. I'd get you out of that chair to start with. And then I'd flip that chair on its side and stack it up so that it couldn't get past. And then I'd get this chair. And then I'd put that on top of that chair so it was like a big wall. And then whilst it was fucking... You're going to barricade yourself in here and wait to die. No, no. So whilst... Do you know how Komodo dragons kill their prey? They poison them and then they wait around them for like a week no, or no, two. No, no, no. So it's not, it's, not, it's not right. So it's, it still needs to poison me. So it's need, it needs to get If you're to just me. staying still anyway, I'll just wait. So No, so it's going to come over the thing, right? When it comes over, I'm going to no, punch no. it in the face. And then it'll be like, fuck that. And then it'll go. You've had time to get a weapon and you still think first fight. The I'll, get, I'll get a weapon then. I'll get them fucking candles up there. The plastic LED <laughs> candles <laughs> that are sat on the shelf next to the hammer. <laughs> 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 yep, those. <laughs> um, you fucking everyone dumb knows. Gun. <laughs> you fat dumb mong. Komodo. <laughs> Komodo dragon. There's an air horn there. You could use to scare it off as well. There's actually, uh, yeah, behind that, there's a giant sort of head. Marble I'd head. still go with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> or any of the tools, rather than, really. Rather than the sculptural art. You're just trying to decorate this Komodo <laughs> dragon. <laughs> oh, some glitter I could throw at it. <laughs> Have you saw that Komodo dragon, Freddy? Well, I put a little head statue and some decorative candles around it. Yeah, it's like you're trying to summon a demon to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to read this dragon's fortune. <laughs> Come any closer, I'll get the tarot card out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was stupid. Yeah, it was really stupid, yeah. yeah. But my point stands that I'd win. I mean, you absolutely wouldn't. I don't think you realise how big and terrifying Komodo dragons are. I don't think we you... were talking about a mythical dragon for a start. Yeah. yeah. But like, I'm of downgraded to Komodo. Down and Komodo dragons are terrifying. They are like crazy scary. Like, they're really intense. They're yeah. scarier than dogs, definitely. 
Nah, dogs go. Oh, you, you are fucking stupid. I saw a Komodo dragon last week. They're not that scary. You don't get guide Komodo dragons. <laughs> you don't get Komodo <laughs> dragons yeah. sniffing for drugs at the airport. Yeah, you don't get guide... You look around your nan's house and she's got a new Komodo you dragon. Don't, you don't get guide fish, but it doesn't mean it's because they're too scary. <laughs> It's just they're not. That's a good point. They're that not suitable point. for that purpose. A Komodo <laughs> dragon could do the functions of a guide dog. A guide fish. <laughs> <laughs> How would you tie the rope around its neck? <laughs> <laughs> Logistically, fish. Well, how else would a blind person swim, Freddy? <laughs> 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 oh my god. So funny. Uh, we got, we've got, we've got one, one more corner. corner of the week. There's always right. three. Oh, we're, not, we're not done. There's always three. Yeah. Uh, this is a news story. Right. So, okay. so right. To be clear, you didn't have enough submissions for cut of the week, so you just put one of the news stories we had into cut of the week. Maybe. <laughs> okay. But it's a good one for cut of the week. Okay. Fury at Jobsworth Warden who tried to ticket a funeral cortege during service. <laughs> That's really funny. Mourners have hit out at a Jobworth at Jobsworth parking warden who tried to. Tickets to funeral cortege during a service. The group had gathered to bid a final goodbye to a loved one at Wellwyn Garden City in Hertfordshire and were getting ready to leave when the parking enforcer turned up. Funeral director Justin Burgess said he explained to the warden that there was nowhere else they could park near the church and ask him to have a bit of compassion for the mourners. But the inspector was unmoved. Uh, Wellwyn Hatfield Council has said that it can, at its discretion, offer parking dispensation to funeral vehicles, but not for zigzag lines, which it claims the cortege was parked on. Do you want to see where it's parked? Yeah. It is double lines and zigzags. Yeah. Oh, fuck this cunt. It's like, yeah. It, like, he's, it, he's right, yeah, technically. I like, yeah. It's one of those, like, look, by the very know nature, what, as well, they are cunts, you know, but he's, uh, he's got well, targets, like, he's got a boss in it. As well, it's like... You know, like, oh, I couldn't park anywhere else. It's like, well, like... It's Carry nice. it a bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like they're going to be fucking dead on arrival. Like, they're already dead. Do yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's what's not like they got a fresh delivery. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to go off a bit more. Like, yeah. Yeah. like if it was an ambulance? Different. Oh, well, even if it was like dead. a... Even if it was like a fucking, like, you know, like, home grocery service, at least you could be like, there's fucking fresh food in here. It's <laughs> dead. <laughs> I love Freddy's priorities. It's like, look, all right, I get your dead nanas in there, but I've got some chicken nugs that are thawing by the second. So let's fucking get this moving. Yeah. But yeah we like, can't see if you're granny. It's, My cookie dough is still on a timer. I don't get why he has to park so close. What do you mean? Because yeah. it's quite heavy carrying a coffin. Yeah, but if you... Well, it's mostly you the get them. You there's can two, drop it and the, carry on. There's two vehicles there as well, so it's a, a lot of them are just mourners. It's true, It's yeah. not necessarily the hers, it's like yeah. the family. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and that's in fact it, it's not the hearse. That's not the hearse. If it was yeah. the hearse, you'd have more. Like, they're saying it, it legally parked hearse, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I hate that I kind of agree with the traffic warden. I know. I don't like that I do. Yeah. But he's kind of fully right. He's well right. They've badly parked there. No one yeah. can get past. Uh, Mr. Burgess explained we were parked outside the church with a hearse and two limousines attending a funeral inside the church. It's very limited where you can park funeral vehicles to get access to a church. This particular church is on the side of a road. That's the only place there is to park. I came out at the end of the service. I saw the traffic warden there and he got his little pad out and started ticking us. I said, You've got to be joking. I said, We're only going to be 10 to 15 minutes more. Can you just go for a walk around the block? He said, no. I said, have a bit of compassion. There's a funeral. And he started remonstrating with me. I mean, 10 to 15 minutes is a, it's a while to yeah, block a whole road. It's, to, it's it's pushing it as well. If you've already been there for a bit, just get in the car, move it. Just move it then. If they're coming back, you're like, look, they're here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. But 15 minutes is yeah, a while. Yeah, like, like, you know, it depends. Like, you know, they're, they're there for a reason, isn't it? So people can drive around. Yeah, Other people like, have to do yeah, shit. Yeah, like, I get The that, living need to move on. I get, well, this is it. Like, I get that for the family, it's a very sad day. But it's not going to make you more sad but, to walk further to yeah, the limousine. But for everyone else, it's just, it's Back fucking the her- Wednesday. Pull oh, the hearse up to it when you're getting the funeral out. Time that. When you're getting the coffin out, have yeah. the hearse there waiting for five minutes. Yeah, like, you know, you know I'm sorry your fucking granddad. But you don't need whatever, the two but... limousines right outside the front door. No, exactly. And also, you can choose where to bury this person. Bury yeah. her somewhere with better parking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bury her in a car park. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens to Richard III, right? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah, it was just for parking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he continued, unfortunately, in the meantime, the next of kin came out and they were really upset. 
Yeah. She said, are you Why? seriously going to put a ticket on my mum's hearse? I can't believe you're going to do this to us. That's well, right. Her mum doesn't have to pay for it. Yeah, why are, <laughs> why are the family upset that the driver's getting ticketed? I, know, I, I wouldn't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Your car. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck if my Just Eat guy gets ticketed. <laughs> I would say as well that the family were upset anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, I don't Emotions think the, were raw. I don't think the family were having a great day. Yeah. And they came out and they were like... Oh my God, Nana hated traffic. Yeah, they're all You've fly. ruined my mum's funeral. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're, all, they're all coming out. A carrying parking a load of flowers. injustice on my mum's funeral of all days. <laughs> they're coming out and carrying a load of flowers that spell out Miss, M- Miss Lumpy Tits. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the family were then ready to leave and the cortage made a quick escape before a ticket was issued. So now we get a ticket. ticket. Fucking hell, this also, is the flimsiest bullshit. Tell you who's cunt of the week. Tom, for bringing us this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a story about someone not getting a parking <laughs> ticket. This ain't quick escape like he's the fucking joker. I know, yeah. Just driven <laughs> up like the he's road. Just, yeah, just robbed, <laughs> like grappled up to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, poof, of smoke <laughs> that it's gone. Tom, this is, even by your standards, flimsy as fuck. Yeah. Well, there was not much time for a third star. <laughs> I love that, but at the end, the incident showed even the vicar appealing to the wardens. Like, that's how serious, even the vicar even got involved. Even the vicar. Even the vicar. All right, so that's the third story. So we got the funeral guy, the guy who nearly killed his missus, and the guy, Victoria Show guy. Who's cut of the week? God, I like... What, what, what do you want me to do with this? Well, vote for one. <sighs> I'm torn between... I'm talking between killing myself and killing Tom. <laughs> oh, I vote kill Robin. <laughs> I don't know the second guy. Yeah. Well, then it, nah, I kind of feel bad for him because he's just yeah. in a bad situation. Maybe the first one. I'm voting Tom for bringing this, keeping this f- fucking feature alive. I've enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it. You're this not feature. helping. You don't have to be here every week <laughs> doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, you've got it once. In a... Yeah, yeah, I'm like the fucking guy with like. You know, the able body person that goes, oh, I'm enjoying these crutches. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm enjoying yeah, When you have a go in someone's wheelchair yeah, for a yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only doing it for novelty. Yeah. You've got to live with that shit. Yeah. And that's what we are. I also vote Tom. Okay. I'll vote the Vittorio Shoga. I'm going to vote for the Vittorio Shoga as well. And my oh, vote so co- has double this week. Cause... <laughs> Why? Tiebreaker. Because... Why? Who says that? Uh, it's my birthday. Uh... It's not, though, is it? Happy birthday, Tom. Well, it might be one day. <laughs> what do you mean? It, is it, it might be. be one day. It is in October, so... Yeah, I know. I know it's not now. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll cut my birthday vote for today. <laughs> so, right, Victoria what... wins. <laughs> my birthday vote. <laughs> Remember... <laughs> Right, he's not getting anything for his birthday now. So he's had his <laughs> no, vote. He's, not. he's had his vote. He's not. He's You're not going to get me anything for my birthday. Well, not now. You've had your vote. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a birthday and my Christmas present. Should we? It would be really funny if we started giving like massive bonuses to every staff member for well, the birthday. <laughs> and then at Tom's birthday, it's like, you had that vote. You had the birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember when you had that vote? Then it counted double. Yeah. So there you go. Hey, yeah. it's priceless. Right, so the winner is... Um, I don't even know. <laughs> the I don't, was it, uh, pers- Mr. Big Calves. Mr. Big Calves. You're the cut of the week, Mr. Big Calves. Week. Send me your address, I'll send you a prize. There you go. Right. Um, before, uh, last rough, thing now, we're going. on the fucking, going. We're, we're, you know, we're on the home stretch. Uh, what we do is we get people to send us in their worst videos. Uh, okay. So 07. Uh, three five four one double eight two five seven. On WhatsApp. Sorry, you do it via mobile on yeah. WhatsApp. Yeah, because uh, it's encrypted. Right. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Okay. And okay. obviously, we did have a previous WhatsApp number that was different, but we lost the number, and it ended up being uh, reallocated to a child who got loads of these videos. No, no, for... that wasn't what no, happened. No, that was happened. that was what happened. Uh, we got a new number. Tom put one digit wrong in the description of the episode, and it <laughs> accidentally was a child's phone number who started getting. <laughs> barrage with just hundreds of the worst videos on the internet to the extent that like his dad like rang the numbers back being like who the fuck are you sending weird porn to my kid <laughs> why the fuck are you two not in jail I know it's unreal isn't it yeah yeah well, well if we send your porn jailed, to this yeah. child for, for his fucking mistake oh, well God. there was no way of him tracking us because it was yeah. the wrong number yeah anyway, that's so. a feature you yeah. give away a child's number people send <laughs> porn to it and then you play the, the phone call yeah yeah, well, thank God we're not putting this out publicly on YouTube, etc., for people to find. So, is there any videos that get you that, that make you? you no, know? I'm nothing bothers me, man. I, I I was a you know an internet child. Yeah. You'd wake up, you'd see a beheading video yeah, uh, yeah. eating your breakfast. 
Okay. Lovely stuff. Well, let's shit, see what we shit can do. gets me. There we go. Shit gets you. Oh, we've got a great shit one. <laughs> I'll save that to the end. All right. This cool. one's called. Uh, it, just in case you do need it, we do have a branded sick bucket underneath the table just there. Um, so, like, ready to go. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll just do a few. We've got, G- part, we've got GTA. Right. First off. This goes out on YouTube. Yeah, we don't show the videos. We yeah, you got to be on Patreon. Them. You got to join our Patreon, then go on the Discord in order to see the uh, full videos. So right, that's so a guy getting in the, the car. car. Is it, I'm sure you've stealing it because you called it GTA. He looks like he could be stealing, doesn't he? Well, he, he's just got in it. Tom, what are you doing? Stop putting menus up. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So he reverses the car. The guy gets trapped on the door, so smashed like, into a wall. So he's reversing the car. The guy who owns the car comes out and opens the car door as he's driving, he's, and it just smashes him into a wall. He's broken his left arm at the end. Oh, 100%. Oh, the run he does into the house is like the same run I did when I fell over as yeah. a kid. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, get, I find it so mad when people try and fight cars in these videos. Like, you see it all the time. Like, a car be driving off, someone like grabs the door to try and get in. What do you think is going to occur? I think yeah. it's just instant. Think though that you're yeah. just trying to grab, but you're you're using got, all your brain. And, yeah. Yeah, 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 you've yeah. got to use your brain to go. That is a car. Yeah. I will die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's fucking insane. For a man who went through a wall, it's fine. Him pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's in shock. <laughs> I think tomorrow can that's going to stick. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, no, we can't. Cause he's just Tom. Just what are you doing? Why? Why? I was about to. I was getting the other one up because why it takes you... a while to da- to what? get ready. I think you're doing a great job, Tom. So look, let's just watch it. It's, it's, here we go. Right. Can I just say, car needs to frost it also. Yeah, I know. He's only got a tiny little window. Maybe didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this left arm. Watch the left arm. Jesus. Watch the left it arm. It knocks the wall down. <laughs> watch, watch. Look, oh, look that at that left floppy. arm. That is not attached. Watch it anymore. when he. Watch when he. Look at that. <laughs> it's <laughs> a floppy oh. left arm. Jesus. It's like Christ. in Harry Potter when they take all the bones out of the arm by mistake. Yeah. That's what he was left with there. Don't get the reference. I'm not gay. Uh, <laughs> well, from one... All right, Mister. I don't eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a lamb died for that? All right, you gay. Boy. I uh, <laughs> I don't get the reference, but I will get the reference when I'm up to that level. Yeah, Mister Wizard. Okay. Right. Well, oh, right. From okay. one bad arm to another. Right. Okay. What worries me about this one is uh, the smell of poverty. That's yeah, it's, in in a, it's in a shit country. This oh, is. this yeah, looks yeah. like it's in Haiti. Yeah, somewhere similar. So some people rowing. Yeah. Guy's got a shotgun. No, no, no. For, Tom, there's no death. This? There's no death. Right, okay. Right. Uh, oh, um, we don't do death? Nah, we're not allowed. So then this guy's... Yeah, he's waving a shotgun about. Wearing flip-flops are holding a shotgun. What is that guy doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Blows a hole in his arm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can we just pause there? That is the dumbest man I've ever seen. Again, right... What I was saying about grabbing the car door, he walks up to a guy who is pointing a shotgun at him and just goes, go on then. <laughs> and the guy with the shotgun goes, all right. <laughs> Shoots him through the arm. Just blows his arm to bits. Wow. We rewatched that. Like, we rewind that a bit. It's <laughs> fuck. And just pause it after. There we go. Pause that there. You can just, look at him. Look at his arm. <laughs> it's such a funny reaction. The he other- just goes, Oh, fucking hell. The guy beside him, no reaction at all there. No, no one's really reacting because they're all sort of like, <laughs> oh, look at the guy beside, not bothered at all. He's like, oh, mate, come uh, on. Oh, did uh, he get you hurt, did he? He tried to pick up a big rock to throw him through the window. <laughs> and He's he, just shot then, you, mate. And then he couldn't lift it. I know. <laughs> He's tried to do it like the Atlas Stones in the Strongman <laughs> competition. <laughs> It'd have been funny if he'd said to the other guy, come on, give us an hand. <laughs> Oh. It's the, the guy's reaction when he looked at his arm is so funny. Just being like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, that, yeah, <laughs> fuck. Didn't think about that. Well, well. Okay, this one's called Wow because of the noise I made when I first watched it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, fair play. Wow. That's a man taking the maybe the world's biggest deal, though. <laughs> that is, I'm not, that is two foot long. How? <laughs> I mean, he's ve- in very good shape. He must have been training for this. <laughs> what in the fuck? Also, <laughs> that was like a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a clown with fucking <laughs> pulling that out was flags. A lot, wasn't it? It was a lot. I sexually depraved. Do you need the baby? And like, are you in the mood? Get the coffee tables. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like get the doing... coffee tables on the annihilator, and I'll see you in the bedroom. It's like he's doing rehab after a stroke. You know when they learn to walk again with the two poles. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck me. me. Yeah, that was a lot. That's some inspiration for you, Freddie. Look at what you could achieve. <laughs> You're nearly there, aren't you? <laughs> nearly there. I reckon you could do that. <laughs> Next one. Okay, I've saved this one till last. You say you didn't like shit. Yeah. No. Okay. I really don't like shit. I can watch a man get shot with a fucking shotgun and what? laugh. Yeah. But no poo. All right, uh, well. Okay. Oh. Some lovely ladies. Well, this one bumps. is from a website called scathunter.com. <laughs> what goes on at Scat Hunter? Oh. Well, look at the, look at the telly. There's two tellies if you want, is it? I'm looking at that one. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's so green. <laughs> now she's just sucking off a turd. I'm not watching them. You might have missed a bit there. I, but he said, how does that taste? Does it taste like shit? <laughs> Rewind it. Rewind it. And it... Oh. Fuck you. How's that taste? Oh, oh. Wait, 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 we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a kiss. Oh, just pause there for a second, Sam. We don't want him to miss this good bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, me, but, uh, <laughs> I'm not watching. I can't, though. Well, you're not leaving until yeah, you watch it. So. Unfortunately, we can't go until you've watched this. Fine, I can hold that. <laughs> oh, what a mucky pup. What a mucky pup. She's got a real moustache there. It's like baby poo, in it? It is like baby It's really green. It's really green. It's not... <laughs> Okay, got 20 seconds left. So. <coughs> oh, God, that oh, fight out of my mouth. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah. Ooh, I nearly went then. <coughs> oh, oh, that's a tough one. <sighs> so if you'd like to see more, it's scathunters.com. Scathunters have, we, have we got the uh, naked Martin pickle on, pickled onion anywhere? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I, know. I don't know. We need. We really need to. We need to have a. Word. We need to get this organised. There's, there's so many I remember all the time. We need a big folder somewhere. What it is, about, it's on the Google Drive. It takes a while to download. What about and and stuff? What about if we could train the gimp googling sh googling shit? Oh, that is in the Hall of Filth. If please, you find the Hall of Filth, please Phil. don't show me that. It's absolutely. It's, it's an there's absolute a little, classic. There's an actual picture of it just there yeah, behind your head. Yeah, like it's one of the. Uh, which where are we looking? Oh, it's the one uh, on the far like uh, not furthest <laughs> right. It's the guy with the gimp mask with his mouth open. I think that's from before I joined, and you didn't name him properly uh, back then. Okay. You didn't name him properly. <laughs> you didn't name them at all. They were just like just vid one six nine four two. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was we, like we, fucking Tom we're gonna, we're, drive. We, we are gonna have to go back through it at some point and organise these properly so we can find them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll I'll send it to you, mate. Don't worry. Um, have you enjoyed yourself? I, I, I did up to a point. <laughs> what um, uh, you can uh, you can guess what that point was? Which point was that? Uh, maybe the bit where she was eating shit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm aware I'm a hypocrite because watched the man get shotgun. Um, that was fine. <laughs> Speaking of eating shit, you're doing a big uh, kick in Ireland, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I am indeed, Freddie. Thank you. I uh, yeah, am doing the waterfront hall in December. How many? Uh, how many seats? Two thousand. Fucking hell! I, just, I fucking love the, this. Is why yeah. I love the Belfast comedy scene. Yeah. Every three months, one of them was like, "I'm doing it seven nights at the arena." Yeah, <laughs> You're like yeah. what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Meanwhile, here I'm going to do fucking like fifty seater in Northampton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fucking class, mate. Uh, yeah. Cheers, man. And yeah. like Mudblood podcast as well. Yeah. Check you out there. Yeah, me and Paddy McDonald, who was on yeah, the couple of, of weeks the ago. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, if people want to find you on socials? Uh, William Thompson Comedy. Nice one, man. Well, it's fucking or if good it's to Twitter, have you over Twitter, Willie Team Upload. There you go, man. Proper good to have you over us ever, man. Guys, that was great. Uh, I love having you. What should we plug? We should plug our Patreon. If you want to see those videos for some fucking reason, the only way to do it is through our Patreon. Uh, you need to be a Patreon member and then join our Discord, and then you can see all the videos. If you want an extra episode every week, loads of specials, tons of extra content, go to patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. You can have a seven day free t uh, trial. You can also, if you are a member of our Patreon, get tickets early to 
Freddy Quinn's tour. What? No, because... it'll already be out now. No, oh, it'll already be so, out. So, right. so the tour will already be out, and you right. can... Uh, but that's Buy one them. of the things that I gave it. You, you, yeah. I'm going on tour... Because uh, loads of people who aren't our Patreon will want them. Uh, I'm going on tour <laughs> October, November 2024. Yeah. Um, we're going to 20 different uh, venues across the UK and Ireland, and you can get tickets at freddyquinn.co.uk. Yeah, and if we're lucky, you'll come back with diphtheria. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're a patron, you don't get adverts. There's going to yeah. be quite a few adverts in this episode. Yeah. But if you're a patron, yeah. no adverts on, on audio. The, on on the the audio. Watch a woman eat shit ad free. There you go. <laughs> well, you can hear it. It's only the audio version that's ad free because we need your views on uh, And check out Dead Meat, uh, Saturday yeah. the 27th of July. Uh, Dead Big Meat. festival. Find out get details tickets. on deadmentalkpod.com. Right, that's the end of the episode. Uh, Orc off. What? Or- <laughs> Are you looking for a dating app for kink and fetish alternative lifestyles? Check out our sponsor, Kink D. That's K-I-N-K-D. Kink D is one of the most famous kink, BDSM and fetish dating apps. They've been featured on HuffPost, Yahoo, Cosmopolitan and more. Kink D allows you to find and meet local kinksters to fulfil your sexual fantasies. Go to the kinkdapp.com to get your free membership. You can also find the app in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. Again, that's kinkdapp.com. Join now and get access to the free bondage BDSM kink and fetish dating community for singles, couples, and swingers. That's kinkdapp.com. K-I-N-K-D-A-P-P dot C-O-M. Bondage. Bondage.